So, hello friends, and welcome to Everin. Um, this is Nerd Immersion. Uh, we're going to get out of the way that we have a couple sponsors up front. Um, so Jake is not here. Jake had a very bad day at work, uh, apparently. Bad enough that for like one of the first times when he's actually showing up that he's late, which is not like him ever nope. in, how is it, four years now? Fuck. Is it? It might be. 2015, game came out in the summer of 14, Rise of Tiamat, for end of 14, start of 15, complete that, go to the shop around the fall of 15, November, October of 15. Shit. That could be, timing maybe off by a year, but it's been a while. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put those, uh. You had to grab that ladder. Is that why he's late? Because he's still gonna, fight, he's still gonna fucking get that ladder. No. Um, anyway, we're sponsored by Initiative Coffee Company. Woo! Cheers! Elderwood Coffee. Academy. Cheers! Nifty things! Um, so, uh, we uh, have those sponsors. Uh, things are getting gearing up. They're a little crazy here as D&D Live approaches on Thursday. It won't be live streaming until. Friday, but everybody's getting out there, and there's like a party and stuff on Thursday. The festivities start on Friday. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to the Nerd Immersion, all of the social medias, because I will likely be. Uh, I kind of did a live tweet when they announced Waterdeep last year, and a lot of people thought I was providing so much information so fast that I was actually at the event, uh, but I was just watching it in my living room. So this year, I'm actually going to be there. So ideally, the information should be more up to date because you won't have to wait that six seconds till the lag happens on Twitch. That six seconds is where dreams die. So listen, if you really think about it, a lot of dreams can make or break in six seconds. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the new Artificer, uh, Unarked Arcana, came out today. Um, I have not had a chance to review it, though I will do that before I leave for DMV Live. So there will be a review of that. Um, they basically kept the previous two subclasses, added two more, and tweaked a few other things. So that's pretty cool. That is out there in the world. You should go check that out. Um, uh, Battlesmith Artificer is still better than Ranger. Um, yeah, it's a low bar. It's better than Beastmaster Ranger, and they just designed it. But Ranger is fine. Ranger's fine. There's nothing wrong with Ranger. Why would why would anyone change anything about Ranger? Yeah, that's gonna be a large function of that uh, of that video. Believe me, it'll be a little Ranger rant in the middle. That's right. Shouldn't make up a emoji or something for that. Hashtag Ranger rant. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that is that. So I'm also just kind of vamping and keeping things going until nine thirty ish when Jake's supposed to be here. So we can start without him, which is fine. That's we what he recap. told us to do. I know, but I, I knew we'd be a little bit late, and we made some extra coffee. Reverend's got a trinket, so we go for that. Love trinkets. So let's go. Let's do that right now. Not really. Right. Start the game. So let me <clears throat> pull up the trinket tables here. So let's see. Uh, Interesting. Interesting. All right, that was the sorcerer's table. Let's check the warlock table. Let's. Um. Oh, I like those. Oh, thanks. I know exactly what they are. Delightful. Quite. Hmm. No. 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 <laughs> Wrapped around your head and shoulders, myriad tentacles whose writhing can bring you indescribable pleasure or pain. Oh, God, no. Yeah, that's one of them. It's a hard no for Rev. Um, well, you don't have any of that, and you wouldn't do it anyway, so let's go back to Sorcerer. Oh, there's the core of the mystical fruit you ate to gain your magic powers. Could you eat a magical fruit for your powers? Uh, I mean, if we accept this drink, it technically... Yes. If, if we get that drink, then that's What's how I got fruit? Uh, there's it. also a rune-covered scarf that grows shorter and longer as you run out of magical energy. 
Uh, and you might be imagining it. You think there are men in black suits with dark glasses chasing you everywhere. Oh. So I say go ahead and roll a percentile. That's what you get. 96. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when your spell crits its target. Your undergarments spontaneously teleport five feet in a random direction. Ooh! Where have I heard that one before? Yeah. Um, or a pencil whose size changes depends on your depending on your perspective. Don't they all? I guess. And then we'll just check Warlock real quick. Oh, you know what? Ash suggested some. Ash donated and Ash suggested some in the Discord. So let's go check on our Discord and see if there's any interesting trinket suggestions that we can use from that. Good. Sounds good. some pretty good ones for Sorcerer and Warlock here. What do we got? Um, uh, let's see. One, two, three. Roll me a d4. Three. Yeah, uh, you got a picture mm -hmm. uh, of you and Kalimbor TPing his enemy's home. <laughs> we'll have to figure out exactly who his direct opposition is. Um, my gut, I want to say, like, Cyric, but that may be inaccurate. Whoever is like the god of undeath or necromancers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that makes you sense. and Kalimbor TPing his, his, his house. Yeah, that picture. I love that. Keep them coming, Ash. These are great suggestions. Um, okay. So that uh, now that that's out of the way, let's go over what happened last time on everything. So. The party uh, had made their way to the Terror Dog Tavern, a road uh, roadway in that's sort of a mainstay for people traversing from the uh, the southern heartlands to the eastern plains. It sort of separates. It's right before the bridge that kind of spans the Challenge River. They're kind of right along the road, and it's grown and amalgamated from a small base tavern to accommodate now upwards of 100 to 150 different people. If Every room is booked. Uh, and they decided to go in and just stay for the night because it was on the way. Let's take a stop here. And it's a, it's a, you know, it's a thing that you see, right? It's a cultural thing. Stop here on the way. It's interesting. So they went inside. They saw uh, a merfolk uh, female completing her dance routine in like a fishbowl in the middle of the room. Uh, they inquired about the terror dog tonic challenge which is some pretty pretty rough uh, drink that's kind of the staple of this tavern uh, and what happens is if you can drink three of them consecutively without coughing sputtering or puking you drink free for the rest of the night so uh, the everyone more or less everyone tried I don't think Reb did nope uh, Rick uh, wave projectile vomited Brina managed to keep it down but was not composed and Rick managed to complete the challenge, therefore drinking for free for the rest of the night. Um, and basically a couple things happened. There's a bar brawl with some uh, these dwarves from a different area, not the same kind of dwarf that Rick is. They got into a bar brawl. Uh, things went a little crazy there. Wave got dragged down the bar, covered in glass shards. Uh, there was mage arm wrestling happened with a, uh, with a local uh, elf there who... Tests fits, uh, feats of the mind versus feats of strength, although she did school both of the strength-based characters with her mind. Mm -hmm. um, what's up, Sam? Man, it's been forever. I think the last time we talked was when we were playing, was it Destiny 1? 
way back when is the last time we like had a conversation what's going on um <laughs> wave is still defeatable <laughs> um anyway is uh, he though? no i mean he technically has survived so, so therefore depending on how you what you consider to be defeatable he is therefore undefeatable yes because he has not died and if that is what you consider defeat yes Fair. And you can't kill an idea. And I'd like to see you try and kill the ocean. Those are both statements, but I don't know what they have to do with Wave. I like them. (laughs) I I, I think if you'd left the... Like, that is definitely a Gowager reasoning statement. Like, that would have gone over very big there. Deep, man. Can't kill an idea, man. I'd love to see you try and kill the ocean. Focus Wave is the ocean. No, no, we got it. Oil spill, dude, says the chat. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh. No! You can't be here. Hashtag BP. Mm. Yeah. Right. BP oil spill. <laughs> so, I like that. Um, basically, the, the party was going to stay. The, the rules were fist fights only, no magic or weapons inside the bar. Outside is fine, or fight with your fists. Uh, things escalated. Um, the Rick managed and, and Wade managed to defeat the, the dwarves, knocked them out, threw them outside. Everybody was happy with that. Uh, and then they basically said, hey, uh, the bartender, Blue Flame, told them, hey, listen, I've got this rat problem in the basement. You know, I would really love if someone could go take care of it. Uh, I just, you know, there's some pretty nasty looking rats. Could you guys go take care of it? And the party went down there to investigate on uh, the process of going through that, realized that these rats were wheeling away alcohol towards a hole in like a fake wall and then went through that fake wall to see that it opens up to a significantly larger cave system expanse beneath the tavern where they've encountered all manner of strange rat amalgamations rats with beholder eyes sticking off of them sort of hovering uh, floating in the air pustule covered rats that explode upon contact Rats that seem to be mixed with spiders that attack like facehuggers from the Alien series, and other ones still mixed with seemingly dragons cha- uh, channeling draconic breath weapon attacks. Um, so this rat problem, clearly a little bit more severe than they initially uh, had planned for. Right. So, so the party has gone through, and they're sort of... They were right near, I believe a bunch of or no you guys had moved past the giant fungus or that's where you ended I forget no we went back uh, into that little alcove room with the to take we were telling the statue to rest to rest right and they had heard tail uh, through one of these chicken scrawl notes that they found of something known as rat bear pig what is rat bear pig I think we all know the players don't. The don't party know. doesn't, rather. Party doesn't know. So they, oh, and they uh, they got a p- potion of rat control. That uh, was a thing they found. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. So um, that is where we left off last time. Uh, oh, the party had also heard rumors, and they, they believe that um, someone had mentioned someone whose name started with an O losing armor of invulnerability <clears throat> in a cave system nearby. Who that O's name is might be Oz. We don't know. Might be Oz's armor and vulnerability. Oswald Oz can. Something like that. Yeah, the guy was clearly drunk, but um, they're in a cave system nearby. Maybe they'll find it. Who knows? Who knows? So with that, uh, were you guys taking a short rest in this alcove? I thought we were taking a short rest. Okay. So everybody, you complete your short rest. Uh, you're. I, I don't remember if you guys healed up last time or not. Okay. So you healed. Those of you with short rest uh, based abilities, key points, action surge, warlock spells, those have all regen. Um, and yeah, you guys are back there uh, in that little room. And you guys had kind of gone down into a main sort of section where it kind of branched off in almost a cross like fashion. You saw a stream leading downward, um, kind of that like dripping waterfalls heading down. And you saw up to the sort of north, if you're thinking cardinal directions, was uh, the fungus area mm-hmm. with the glowing violet fungus um, and yeah you guys went back and rested you've got your rest what would you like to do 
Rick, what do you think we should do? Sorry, uh, uh, Rick, uh, what do you think we should do? Uh, um, well, I was thinking we push through this fungus. It's kind of gross, but it might taste good. Um, don't eat it. Oh, I don't know. Is it uh, edible? I got a good survival check, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, you don't have his thing. Wait, man, before you do that, boop. <laughs> Uh, oh, natural 20. Well, yeah. Um, uh, so, fungus, in general, is edible. Mm. Right? It's a general thing. There's a lot of different kinds of fungus. Uh, like a whole book full of different fungi that you can eat. You can do a variety of different things. But you also, Rick would also know, that certain types of fungus are sentient mm. and oh. attack. And I believe, I could be mistaken, but I thought there was something in the note that said something about fungus. Mm-hmm. A rat for the rat domination poison. Yes. Uh, That's all I have. Rat domination poison. Should say potion. Potion. Say potion. I don't know. Fungus chamber, violet fungu- fung- fungus. Fungus? I don't know what I wrote. Fung- fungus. Okay, well. I know it's fungus, but I wrote fungus. You did write fungus. Well, and yes. Then, uh, violet fungus is one such type. Of sentient fungus. Right. Um, it's the violet one, and it's got a pink and cap. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Rick. Thank you. Um, um, Get it, because it's a mushroom cap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And right. it's pink and cap. Yeah. It's a big pink and cap on it. Got it. Um, two. I ate a bunch so of those back in time for once. Thank you. Fun time, man. I don't think that's true. Um, we should probably, um, since we know they're using this violet fungus for this rat domination poison. Destroy it? Or use it. Dominate the rats ourselves. No. What? I will be the rat queen. Maybe if we gave the potion to Blue Flame, you could control the rats and put them to work, put them to good use. Or just, you know. You guys know that the the potion only works on one rat at a time. Yeah. Can't use multiple potions? You only have one potion. But if they were to make more potions. Well, currently, no one knows how. You don't have, I don't believe you have the recipe on how to make them. You just know one of the, or some of the ingredients. Mm. Um, well. Since we did set off that alarm about an hour ago, and uh, these rats seem to be minions for whoever is making this potion, we should follow the rats. Okay. Where are the rats? They've been everywhere so far, so how do we follow them? They're everywhere! Fine, well, follow it. Walk around a bunch. Oh. Okay. So um, through the Oh, question. Yes. The area where we set off the alarm, that direction, that like cavern area, mm-hmm. um, was that towards the violet fungus, away from the violet fungus, in a different area? Well, uh, that was I think, towards. You was basically kind of at the crossroads. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, um. It said, the note said, the mighty rat bear pig is a complete success. Its keen snout can safely sniff out the violet fungus so I can avoid them. Okay. Ah! So avoid the violet fungus. They, uh, attack. Cool. So, cool. well, we Good know, know who we're looking for isn't in that room. It's not. So... We should go away from this room. Should we go to the fungus? To the water? Is there a third option? Yes. There was. It's basically, if you guys can imagine like an X, right? Uh Uh-huh. You've got the way you're coming, the water is this way, fungus is this way, and then there's this path. Ah. That you have not gone down. You guys, basically, as soon as you entered, basically, the nexus of that X, nexus, uh, that's when the alarm went off. Okay. okay. So it went off in a central location that would basically alert the way cave systems work. It should alert 
the whole area that someone is around. Gotcha. Mm. Um, new path? I vote new path. New path! Yeah, you could see from where you were peering down uh, towards, you could see the area was filled with uh, just fungus everywhere, and there was um, a glowing violet light in that, you know, kind of shifting in that area. And it looks like the cavern sort of curves around, like, behind, like all the fungus, and it looks like it may go around behind it, but there's a big field of fungus. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you've got your sort of stream uh, that heads down, kind of, there's a triple kind of waterfall, and the stream kind of flows further mm -hmm. south, and then the way you guys have not gone. Or the other path, the new path, as we're calling it. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you guys are going to head? Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys get over there and make me a perception check. Eight. Fourteen. Thirty-one for Wave. <laughs> All right, Wave, you can see, uh, it was hard to see originally um, with your <laughs> lack of dark vision, but... Uh, have torches. Yeah, but... Uh, you relight a torch after you put it out when you guys are in mm -hmm. the room there because you have a little bit of the violet light kind of shining, giving you a little like side lighting. You're like, oh, torch. <sighs> light it back up. And you can actually see that across the river, just at the end of the bright light, you can see that there's a path. If you were to f ford this river, for lack of a better term, there is another path on the opposite side directly across from it. There's a path down there. Well, should we go? Well, See anything? Any traps? No, I don't know. I don't think so, man. You can see that the river itself, well, at least at the moment, you're not sure how deep it is, if it's deep at all. But it is about 15 to 20 feet wide before that path, which is why it's like just at the edge of the light from the torch. Is it fast moving water or is it? I, no, it's an, I mean, it's not like rapids. Okay. Like there are, there's, okay. because there, yeah, there is a current and because you've got sort of a waterfall effect, it's giving definitely the illusion of moving faster because of that. You've got the water kind of cascading down and you can hear it down further. It sounds like there are additional kind of drop offs as you go further down. Okay, oh. let's. How deep is one? It's about, uh, gonna go wade in the water. Yeah, you wade out into like the middle of the water and it seems like it's only like three and a half feet deep at the deepest part. Huh. At least where you are currently. It's this deep, man. Uh, but make me a dexterity check. Seven. Uh, you're like, yeah, it's like only like two, whoop! And you, your feet hit like a, a nice moss covered stone and you just, <laughs> and you guys watch <laughs> into the water. Uh, so uh, yeah, you are now um, delayed effect after this. And the torch psh, psh, oh. as you fall into the water. But now make me a mm, nope. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> so oh. never mind. You're right over there, blue guy. Yeah. You can you can I'll come get back. Up. I'll yeah. get up. So you're halfway kind of across this river at this point. So you can see that the path does, on the other side, go on for a ways mm -hmm. from what you can see. What about new path? Uh, new, How path does new path go uh, goes for a ways, and it looks like it may branch kind of right at the edge of your, your vision. Rev, you can make me a perception check. Five. Cool. Rick? Nine. Cool. Plus whatever. Is he proficient? He is proficient in perception. The, the tablet's right there. Oh. It's under his book. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Wi Fi password changed. <sighs> Let's see how fast I can get it. 
Pat, while you're doing that, throw me the tablet and I'll hook it up to the new Wi-Fi. I'm going to hand it to you. Throw it so, to you. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, that way, Jake can hop right in it when he gets here. Yeah. If this is not dead. <laughs> that's true. That would be fun. Which it probably is. Rick just pulls out a cracker and just... <laughs> staring off into the... All right, so Rick's perception. I want to say it's a plus five, um, but I will tell you in a second. Plus five, so fourteen for Rick. Um, yeah, he as wave was falling into the water, and he was laughing. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but as the the light was kind of coming down <clears throat> in before it psh, into the water, there was a tiny glint of something shiny amidst the. Kind of the the water's pretty shallow, and the, as the light got close, and as it flickered and went out, there's a little glint of something shiny there. In. Hey, oh, he's gonna run through the water, splash, splash, splash. And bend oh, over. <laughs> wouldn't just tell Wade to pick it up. Pick it down. No, no, all right, all right. Do you wet? I guess. All right. So yeah, there's oh, a ring. Gonna be so. It's just a little moldy in there. You can just. No, that's not a. Fun it's also game. three and a half feet deep in the middle, so it's like halfway up his chest. His beard is <laughs> it's just like. You're just floating, cascading. Yeah, it's just sort of like spidering yeah. out beard. <laughs> oh, and when he gets out, it sticks to all the spikes. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be so tangled. <laughs> it's gonna be so tangled. So, um, uh, yeah. what did I get? Uh, a ring. Oh. Probably not. It's probably just some... Uh, uh, wave is magic. Is it magic? What was he saying? You're just going to squint at me? Or are you going to... Yes, it's magic. What kind of magic? Abjuration magic? It's mm -hmm. abjuration magic. Alright, well... Oh. Mm. What does the ring look like? It is a gold ring. Which is the glinty thing. Uh, just a plain uh, gold ring. Plain gold ring? Plain looking gold ring. Come down, nerd. I'm the only way to find out. I'm gonna focus on it. Let me go forward. For an hour? Well, I'm gonna start to. Okay, but you know, if you like start doing things, then it breaks that focus. Ah. So you wanna sit here for an hour? After we just took the shower? Get out of the water? We should. No, just sit in the water. We should keep going. We'll figure out what that ring is later. All right. Okay. So which path did you new want? New path, water path. Uh, new path involves Rev not getting wet, so he's going to pick that one. I mean, cool. it's like his shins. Yeah, I know, but still. Yeah, but it's most of Brina's body, and I'd prefer not to be wet. You can run on water. <laughs> on the top of water at level 9, so you don't have to get wet at all. I know. Did you? No, you didn't. Did. <laughs> you can also run on the walls. Yeah. So no, you don't have to get wet at all. Rick yeah, but I still say that to the rest of them. Go to the new path. New path. So coming back across the river to the new path. Okay. New path. All right. So you guys head down this pathway for a good... 100 or so, 150 feet, kind of slowly, kind of angling downwards. And now you can see that the path there, it continues on ahead of you, but it also branches off to your right. Um, I'll poke my head in the right. See what's in there. Okay, as you look in there, and I mean, we're not really, it's not like a tight thing, it's like, in, we're yeah. talking like a 10, 15 foot wide area. So you peek in there, and in here, there are a bunch of tables and a whole bunch of uh you know it's just kind of mismatched in the middle against the walls there are tables it's dirty it smells bad and there are a ton of metal cages mm -hmm. uh, on top most of the tables and they have rats in them of all manner of different shapes and sizes these rats um and it is just filled with like the chittering of rats and it smells like rat shit <laughs> in this room um, and then a voice squeaks in your brain. Just my brain? Just yours, because oh. you don't want to poke your head in. Fair. And it says, stay your weapons. Nibbles wishes to speak with you. Perhaps we can help each other out. Um, 
someone named Nibbles is talking to my brain. And then, oh. as he says that, as Rev's poking his seven foot tall head out, Wave's gonna poke his six foot tall head out, and then Rick is gonna poke <laughs> his. And then Brina pokes down. Head out. And there, there it is. Totem pole. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, and I will enter in and I guess out loud say, which one of you is Nibbles? <laughs> yeah, and Rick will come in with, yeah. That, I like it. Sorry? <laughs> okay, that's what Rick does. Um, so our weapons stayed? Yes. As it were? Um, yeah. They are not wielded in an aggressive manner, if that is what you mean. I mean, I feel like Brina's fists are always aggressive. Yeah. But mean, yes, the Black Stabbath is, is sheathed in a longsword form at the moment. Because it's a sheath. Fair. Um, okay. So you can see as well as you look about these cages, you can see uh, within the cages two spider rats, one explodey rat, mm-hmm. two of the beholder rats kind of on the top of the cage because they're floating. Um, Two of the dragon rats, Mm -hmm. and there are four other rats that you have not seen thus far. Um, One is covered, or two of them are covered in canary yellow feathers, and they have beaks for mouths. Um, Let's see, and the other ones are... Rat. That's good. That's pretty good. Ah. Appreciate it. The other ones. Let me just get to the official. Oh, here we go. Um, they are hulking. Uh, they are very skittish and looking around the cages, and they have uh, a pig snout. Oh. Yeah. And you would say that they look bearish in nature. Uh, but with like the naked rat tail. Gotcha. It's like a pig rat bear. It's like a rat bear pig. That, yeah. Um, yeah, so I ask, uh, which one of you is Nibbles? Uh, so Nibbles responds in your brain mm-hmm. and says, Nibbles does not want to show Nibbles itself. Nibbles will. Once Nibbles is convinced, perhaps then. Nibbles will reveal themselves. Has Nibbles not heard of pronouns? Is Nibbles. What's a pronoun? Very, very well. Um, in this room. Oh. Um, how would we prove ourselves? And Nibbles says, hmm, that's a good question. Mm. Well, Nibbles says, if Nibbles were to tell you Nibbles' desire, would you be willing to assist Nibbles in that endeavor? Uh, That would depend on the nature of the endeavor, Nibbles. If you wanted to, say, eat the flesh of my companions, I would have to, uh, I would be disinclined to acquiesce to your request. However, if you wanted, I don't know, like 20 bucks, <laughs> I, I, could, I could handle that. And Nibble says, Nibbles seeks arcane knowledge, to collect arcane knowledge from the surface world. Okay. Would you be willing to help Nibbles escape to the surface to gain and garner this arcane knowledge? If you help me, I will inform you of what exists down here, perils and, and things to find. This is all in the brains, right? Uh, only, brain. only in his brain. Like, well, are brain. you speaking out loud or in your brain? Uh, I'm going to try at first in my brain to see if Nibbles responds. It's, it's, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like an open... So like, we're just standing here. So you're just silence. watching Rev just like... Doing what he would normally do anyway. He's just not talking. He's being productive. Um, nibbles. Yes. Uh, I... Well, I'm going to insight check him. Okay. See if he really does want our camera. Sure. Fuck. Shit. 
bitch. <laughs> um, I think that's a four on my shoulder job. Uh, what? Rev? You suck. Uh, um, three. Totally telling the truth. Totally telling the truth. Um, Does want it I don't know, maybe. I don't... Like, no purposes? Or is he going to be a dick if he gets You don't know, you're not involved. Hey! Oh. Hello, Internet. So I'm handsome. here. Made it late, but... You're here. They say better late than never, right? They do say that. They I've heard do. it. I've heard them say it. Yeah. Um, I'm talking to someone in my brain. We're right. in a rat. We're in a building filled with rat cages. We're in a room, yeah, filled and with rat cages. And he says, oh, "Okay." What? 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 Rat. Sorry. <laughs> rat. Well, I don't, man, I don't rat. know you. Uh, he says, "What? What? What room. are you doing down here? Perhaps I can help." We're all just standing around uh, inside. And he turns <coughs> to me. Faces. All right. I love my coffee upstairs. Oh, uh, give me a second. Um, so there's a new pot. I know. I this uh, nibbles character is speaking into my brain. He wants arcane knowledge. From, from the surface world. He wants our help getting to the surface world. Is he one of the rats? We think. We don't Possibly. Know. He hasn't We're revealed himself. We're stacked right now, like, poking our heads Oh, you out. also found a magic ring. Like, Rev, okay. me, you, and Brina. Okay. Um, so, we, uh... He said he might help us if we help him. Oh, we should give him the... The magic you missile ring. You found a gold ring. ring. Good on him. He's a big rat. We They're not teeny not rats. Arm, then. You don't know. You've we don't seen know. Them. We don't know if this is a rat. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't know if it's a rat, but the all, other rats all are all All we know big, about right? this creature is his name is Nibbles, and he doesn't know what pronouns are. That is true. Also, though, just, just to ring a magic missile. What? What about it? We should just give it to him. Why? Why? He wants knowledge. No, we no. don't know. If no, he's sorry, a good sorry. I he wants. To go right. to the surface oh. to learn. He wants to go up, 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 up oh, above. Yeah. He doesn't just um, want magic things. He well, wants. Who's, who's you ask him if he was a good. Well, I was gonna get yeah, like, not? do is he? Yeah. Is, is he? Rev thinks he's really. Well, I think he's. I think he's, he's telling, telling the, the truth. truth. Yeah. Um, is he? No. If can who, he? who who mm. who in the world, if you ask them, are you good or not? Would say no. Four Ask him what he wants to do. With. After asking for a favor. That's ask, true. Ask what they want with the yeah. magic what's, knowledge. What's his intention? Like what he would, like what's what he wants to do with it. For what purpose do you want this magic knowledge? Um, says. Nibbles has, is very intelligent, and Nibbles wishes to grow Nibbles' intelligence further. And in, his, in Nibbles' current predicament, Nibbles is very limited in what Nibbles can learn. Yes, but that in a... Knowledge for knowledge's sake. That's not a thing. Mm. He hasn't it's only in his I'm in my brain. I know. You can't hear any of this shit. It's not a thing. We don't Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nibble says, what of you? You smell of arcane magics. Yeah. Would you like it? Perhaps I could travel with you and be an assistant for you, gaining and garnering further knowledge. <sighs> Give him a rat, too. No, rat thank too. you. Bye. But if you help us rid mm. the tavern mm. of the rat theft mm. of their barrels, mm. then I could perhaps assist you. Sounds like you wish to destroy the Rat King. Actually, that does sound like us. Yes. So. So yes, if you help us defeat the Rat King, we will help you gain arcane knowledge. So, um, a great evil again. he will tell you, oh, well. the Nibbles will tell you. Nibbles seems on the level, okay? Um, I ask. Knowledge for knowledge sake. It's not a thing. Yeah. Folks would he disagree. will tell you um, that the Rat King mm -hmm. has slipped into madness and should be stopped. 
Okay. Uh, so far, we're on uh, team same brain, as we uh, like to say on the surface. So he tells you. I love uh, your hair right now. Yeah. You look like Jimmy Neutron. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. I was gonna. Have you seen uh, Jimmy Neutron? Yeah. Yeah. Like looks that. Like that. Yeah. He tells you. Um, he, he can provide you some. Um, information about the different areas down here Mm -hmm. but he will also tell you that there's a prisoner a young human being held down here and he doesn't believe anyone knows that oh shit um and he tells you that the rat king's chamber and laboratory is beyond the demon doors but he's never been allowed inside okay magical um and he says that the rat king always brings a purple flower okay with him when he approaches the demon door okay you guys hear that? Magic. Yes. No. Yes. When he approaches the demon door. You. Not your character. I'm not using character bias. No. I don't know why I said that so kind yeah. of <laughs> condescendingly. Sounds like you should have said it in character voice, and then that would have been okay. But yeah. yeah. But it's like, I'm the one who always says it, and I said it as if I was making fun of people who say that. Yeah. But it's me. I'm, well, you're the guy that does I'm that. the guy who says that. I did. Um... So yeah, purple flower, get through the demon doors, he's beyond the demon doors. I'm assuming Can the you direct the us the purple to the demon doors? No, those are the bad ones. Um, yes. And he will tell you I know. also I that. that the Rat King plans to take over the surface world. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and he's never seen the Rat King, uh, or he's seen the Rat King travel into the fungus place, mm-hmm. but he always brings a rat bear pig to forage for alchemical ingredients. Okay. Um, and he says, you might find this useful and um you hear like scurrying in the area Mm -hmm. and then you see kind of like floating over near your boot is another potion bottle Mm -hmm. that's placed on the ground similar to the one you found before Uh, i pick it up it is seems to be a rat uh, potion of rat control nice we could get a rat bear pig on our side with this oh yeah and he Um, says don't get anything funny i'm too smart for that i don't even know what that means. Yes, exactly. Um, oh, can you direct us towards the demon door or the purple flower? Okay. Or the human? Really, anything. All right, so what Nibbles will say, demon, purple flower, demon. Uh, I will draw you a map on the ground here. Shit, perfect. And you watch as you, like, you hear scurrying. And then you see, like, a stick being carried back over to the area. And the stick begins to draw invisible. on. Well, yeah, it's invisible drawing with a stick. Okay. And you can kind of see where you guys are. Mm-hmm. And you see the area you kind of have already come, all everywhere you've kind of came in already. And you can see where the stream is. And there's little squigglies mm-hmm. to represent the stream and the pathway that goes beyond the stream down. Uh, and then further, it shows kind of, there's like a little chamber further south. Uh, kind of from where you are, and then that's it. Can't give you much more information okay. beyond that. And Nibbles will tell you um, about kind of the entrance leading up that you already mm-hmm. saw, about the kind of area where you first came in, the crossroads area mm-hmm. where you were at. Nibbles has never been beyond the fungus chamber. Okay. It just doesn't go there, but will tell you, uh, again, can provide you all the information about the room you're in currently. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll tell you that there's sort of an alcove when you leave out of here and make a right. Um, and in that area is where the, the human is being held, and that's the torture room. Oh. Ooh. It's not where uh, I And there be. is, like, a rack and human. tools for torturing people in the middle there. Um. All right. Um, I... Tell you things that he told me, and we all see the map. Ah. Um, so, my thought process at this juncture is get a rat bear pig. Okay. Go to the fungus room. See if we can find any purple flowers in there. Mm-hmm. Because Nibbles mentioned alchemical stuff. Okay. So, uh, if there's some kind of magic alchemical flower, it might be in there. That would make sense. Then uh, kill the rat king. Right. Save the human. Mm-hmm. Save the chair. Drinks. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yep, that all makes sense. Yeah. Also, uh, right? Yeah. Does the map look like if, like, we were close enough to this human boy and he was currently being tortured, we might be able to hear that based on this map, my knowledge of the cage? Like, if he was currently screaming like somebody who was getting stuck with a hot poker or something. Uh, yeah, you get the feeling that that would be the case. All right, cool. Let's do it like that, then. Yeah. And I mean, then that, it's not a very big chamber, so we could just rescue him real quick. I mean, like, go send, that way. Send him back to the tavern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Uh, and go deal with this. All right. Nibbles, uh, says, as a sign of good faith, Nibbles will reveal himself to you. Cool. And you watch as the invisibility fades and a pure white albino rat is there, mm-hmm. but with like a significantly larger head and like brain area. Not exposed, but just significantly larger. <laughs> Your big old brain. Well, um, Nibbles, nice to meet you. Um, Let's uh, do this. All right. And Is there nibbles. a key to these cages? Um, to the cages here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're actually, there's not, these aren't really locked. They have like a, oh, okay. a pin in them. Like an um, animal can't open it. Right. Well, nibbles, nibbles could. Yeah, but he still doesn't have thumbs. Don't, do rats have thumbs? They Raccoons do. Can't so. they like, I, I feel like they, they can grip things. They're, they're not a puzzle. Puzzle. They're not like, Human hands, but they can grip things. I feel well, like even raccoon paws aren't opposable. They can't touch them to each other. That's the whole thing. Yeah. But okay. they can grab things. anyway. He can anyway. figure it out. Yeah. So yeah. yes, these are uh, openable. All right. Uh, use one of the potions. Yeah, I'll use the one that we just got. Knock it back. Okay. Try and brain control a rat bear pig. Okay. Potion <laughs> of rat control. <laughs> Uh, here is your tablet. There is a new Wi-Fi password. Oh, I got the phone. He got is dead. Oh, the tablet's dead. That's okay. So it's that's actually not my tablet. Well, that's my tablet. My extra tablet. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm on on my phone right now. Okay. Take this away. So okay. Uh, you the don't motion, what you meant. The rat fails. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Cool. So you now have control of a rat bear pig. I will unlock its cage. Um, it, Is this the only one in that cage? There are, yeah, there are one per cage. They're pretty big. Yeah. Um, so you have control of this rat for six hours. Uh-huh. That's uh, and good. it will do basically whatever you want it to do in that time. It is... Uh, I guess, pre- I, and maybe I didn't make this clear, because I told you it was hulking, mm-hmm. and like it's like the size of a horse. Oh! Oh! That's my bad. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Like, they're big. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, like, no, no. full, like, dog cage No, it's like, cage. it's like, like the size, like, imagine the body of, like, a brown bear, but, like, rat fur, rat tail, rat hands, but, like, a pig snout. Nice. And, and, and like, <laughs> tusks, like a boar, like a wild boar tusks. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Um, let's go to the fungus room. Uh, Nibbles, mm. will you be accompanying us to destroy the Rat King, or will you wait here for us to return? Nibbles says uh, that Nibbles will go with you to the Demon Door, because Nibbles has never been allowed beyond the Demon Door, and Nibbles is curious. Okay. But uh, if Nibbles is afraid, uh, Nibbles will run away. Oh, Fair. good. Fair enough. But Nibbles will stay invisible. Okay. Do you tell us that? I do. Does the Rat King know magic? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Rat King brought me to send Ah, so you know some pretty impressive magic then. I didn't, I don't know. I mean, he made... And I just gesture at all the different kinds of rats. He made... I don't know. Uh, That doesn't happen through breeding. I don't know. Now you do. I do. I didn't know. Yeah. You Um, cannot breed a rat and a beholder. You will find a set of spectacles. Ooh. They are a rose quartz. Ooh. Ooh. I look so cool. You had a feeling where you two can have some sort of overly powerful magical energy that was generated from behind your eyes. Mm -hmm. This would contain them. 
Oh, I do have that very specific feeling. Does it also make his past like seem more appealing than it really was? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are rose quartz glasses. Oh, okay. rose colored glasses. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Although they are rose they colored, are yeah. yeah. You get the feeling that, although they're spectacles, right? So they're tiny. You get the feeling that perhaps if you found yourself in a very dire scenario, and the size worked out, that you might be able to cover up an eye stalk with one of these to <laughs> protect the eye rays from coming out. Uh-huh. But the eye has to be small enough that the rose-colored spectacle yeah, yeah. will cover it. Fair. All right. Good to know. Um, let's head to the fungus room. Okay. So you guys make your way north to the fungus room. Uh, and there you can see some things. Can you guys see those things? Um, good. What was my magic ring? We, uh, we have an identity. Oh, okay. We didn't identify. Yeah, it's yeah. just a, a very plain butt magic. magic Calm shoulder. down there. Oh my god. Probably not. It could be. All right, so here you Throw can it see pipe. it's basically uh, just either you got torches. A whole uh, uh, cavern of just these fungi. Um, they're all different shapes and sizes. You can see the kind of glowing, kind of purple light that's here. Um, some are kind of like a sh- like wriggling and like shaking and shimmering. Some of them have like tentacles, kind of coming off of them. You can see some of them are like golden spores. Okay. Into the air every so often. Um, yeah. And your rat bear pig Mm -hmm. um, can kind of sniff out the way and kind of show you the path to avoid. Uh, One thing you know, knowing about violet fungus, is they are dangerous and necrotizing to touch, but they don't move. Okay. So you can, if you don't touch them or get near them, they won't activate. They also are plants, so they can't really see. So, like, you need to touch them, and then they know that something's there. Mm. Can I talk to my rat bear pig? Um, telepathically or something? Telepathically, no. I think it's just, like, a really good pet. Okay. Uh, no, you mentally command. You can't talk to it, but you can command it. Okay. Mentally. Uh, I'm going to ask Nibbles. Hey, Nibbles. Yes. Can you talk to this rat bear pig? He says, yes, they're not exactly the best conversationalists. Um, can you ask this one if it has been here before with the Rat King? And, uh, he'll say, stand by. A little break, he says. Hold on, sir. Uh, I think so. It's real dumb. Okay. Like, imagine the dumbest person in your group, Uh and then, like, subtract seven. Uh, okay. To, like... You know, just have him. Okay, I'll just go snip out of the way. Yeah. Uh, so it will. It'll kind of lead you through the path. And what you do notice, which is kind of strange, is those kind of glowing violet lights. Mm-hmm. They move. Oh. And you guys can make me perception checks. Fourteen. Okay. Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty two. Oh, and Pat, you can make me a nature check at advantage. Or, a, you know, a check with your alchemical tools. Oh, that's, um, 16? Okay. So you guys can actually see that the purple lights aren't actually fungus. They're giant fire beetles, Ooh. which normally glow red from the inside, but apparently feeding on these fungi, it has turned the light purple instead of red. So they're kind of what's providing you the ambient light. And Wave, you can tell that as you're walking through looking at these, some of these fungi are uh, used in alchemical brews. You see that there are yellow puffballs and weeping wigs. Those are different kinds of mushrooms that are used in alchemical brews. Um, possibly something that was referenced in the original 
something that the Rat King had said. Or uh, not the Rat King, the note that you guys had found. Um, we found it now. Last game. Last week. Uh, oh, okay. No, that was just fungus from this Life chamber. And brain. Nibbles to the citadel, and he joins up and becomes a dragon. Dragonborn psychic rat. Yeah, we should have him become a veil guard. The chat has already been campaigning for a veil guard wizard a rat. Veil veil guard. Yes! Right. I am on that board. That would be the perfect place to study arcane stuff. Yeah. So, um, really. you no. guys. Well, not yet. Unless we get books. Uh, so you guys move. be a part of the support group. You guys are able to maneuver cool. through to the other side. So from here, you can see that there is a pool, a shallow pool of water beyond here. It's a smaller chamber. Um, and you can see floating atop the water are two large, dark purple lotuses. Seed pods glowing faintly. Um, and there's a stone statue of another fish-like humanoid at the center of the room, uh, garbed in priestly robes. Um, the entire surface of the water is covered in like a thin, black, almost like mucus type oil slick. Mm -hmm. um, and held in the outstretched hands of this figure is a ceremonial bowl filled with dark purple liquid. Um, and as you all enter this room, you guys feel this sort of presence take over your mind momentarily and it's pressing in your head begins to throb and it uh and it, it kind of is a very primal feeling and it begins to coalesce into a thought and it says mix the blood take the power and each time it and it's just continually repeated in your brain and each time it's more horrible and the pain like the it like starts off with like a tiny headache, and the longer you're here, like it's building. Just, it's just building. Okay. <clears throat> so take the flower and bounce. Mix. Mix the blood. The blood. At what blood? Our blood. Purple goo. I mean, I don't know. Are there are there flowers? Do I? There see are. Yeah, yeah there flowers. are two. Large black flowers floating on the surface of the water. Uh, black flowers, not yes. purple flowers. How far out in the water? We need purple flowers. Uh, not too far. We've got purple liquid. So dip the flower in the liquid? I don't think it's that easy, but I think Probably there's, not. there's something that we might not be thinking of. My brain hurts. Mixed blood. I go look at the liquid. Okay. In the bowl. Does it look like blood? Uh, no. It looks okay. like water, like thick water, like a water with a sheen on the top. Make me another in check with your alchemical. Oh, oh, I mean, he said he looks yeah, like in the bowl. water. Oh, in the oh, bowl. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, it looks, this looks a lot thicker. It's it's not really translucent. It looks like it. It smell irony. Well, I can smell irony. Different type of blood. What did you get, Pat? Natural 20. Uh, you would know that these two flowers floating on the surface are black lotus flowers. And they are exceptionally rare, and they are extremely sought after for like high level potion making. And you can see like the pod, like you can just, you can see with detect magic that there are like little wisps of just raw magic energy just off of the little seed pods that are glowing there, Ooh. just kind of dissipating into the air. Does you it fall like blood? Oh, the <laughs> I need to know. It's boring. Um, it does smell of blood. So what other blood? Do we have to mix it our blood? Smells of blood. Uh, maybe, like. Uh, when you go up and stare at it, Rick, you get this alien thought in your brain that you, that you like mix your own blood with this. What's in this bowl? Add it. Mix mix our blood with the bowl blood. Oh. That's what, yeah, you're kind of, because you're actually up there and like looking at it, and you're like, mix, I should probably do this. Mix my, my blood with it. Okay. You think? Sure. Why not? It says mix the blood. Okay. What do you think? Um. Yeah. There's no way blood magic will end poorly. 
What if we use the rat bear pig's blood? He's a friend of mine. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Somebody's got to put blood in it. Cedric. I do it. I put blood in there. Okay. So you drop blood into this and immediately... At the console of all of my best (laughs) friends and smarter friends. So, um... You, uh, immediately, your brain is sort of, like, um, you know that scene in, like, Doctor Strange where he's, like, whoosh, oh. going through all, it's like that, but it's all, like, space and, like, weird giant fish mm-hmm. creatures with, like, it's all crazy. I feel like all my hair starts standing on its ends. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's and it's, but it's, it's very, <laughs> like, it just, like, happens in an instant and then it's gone. Um, and you can feel at the moment your dark, you, your dark vision has extended to 120 feet and somehow you're not sure how, but like you look down at your hands and your feet and somehow you, you like, you're, you're like, you pull back the gauntlet and you can see like tiny little webs have come between your fingers and you now have a swim speed All right. Ooh. equal to your movement speed. Nice. You all right up there, Rick? Yeah, yeah, I feel pretty good. Um. Does he still hear voices? Mixed blood. Do I still hear the? Does the? Are the? Is the, the voice is gone? Oh, for everybody. Do we still hear it? N- they still hear it. You oh. know. All right. Look at that. Huh. Gross. Yeah. Weird. Sweet man. Right. Um. Okay. So, so we need some flowers. We need purple flowers. Maybe they're uh. Those maybe those black kind of flowers of look purple <clears throat> in in light. different light. Ah, it's a good call. So. Uh, probably not, but. Um, you will realize that the in a similar conversation to one we've had in the past, a black lotus flower is actually a very deep purple. Uh, Makes sense. Okay. Um, what do I need oh, it does for the dra- dragon door. Ah, uh, demon, demon door. door. Whatever. <coughs> Yonder yes. door. Uh, I'm going to try and mage hand pick one. You do? Yeah. I'm going to try and mage hand pick the other one. You do? You also know that... Oh, so we didn't have to do that then, huh? <laughs> Turns out no. Mm. Let us uh, egress... Got webbed fingers now, though, so that's neat. Neato burrito. Yeah, so you know that these seeds, they bloom, and they die within a few hours after blooming. But um, if, you know, efforts are taken to preserve them, they can maintain. But you know that even still, like, it, they're not super well-known, but your role was really high. So people in the know will pay hundreds of gold even for, like, a withered seed pod. And you have two live flowers. So, Sweet. to the right person. I was going to try and figure out if I could extract the seeds and then maybe grow more in the future. Ooh. It's a thing. I don't think you're in a situation where you can do it right now. Mm. But, yeah, it's definitely a thing you can think about. Yeah, really good thought. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have your flower. All right. You are feeling... Uh, Fishy. Webby. Fishy, yeah. Um, all right, uh, oh, Rad Bear Pig, who Come I on. am now going to name Diego. Oh. Diego, lead us out. Diego leads you back out of the area. Well, I'm going to try the same thing that Rick did before we go. Okay. So you're going to go put your blood mixed yeah. in with that? Ah, uh, you put your blood in my blood. I think yeah. that makes you... Uh, uh, gives you 60 feet of solutions. dark vision. And as soon as you get the same strange visions, the voice stops. As soon as you leave, the voice stops. Wait. Cool. Now he has dark vision, yeah. But you have you know, also has wet fingers. If you're going to do it, just do it. Do I have more of a swim speed? No. Oh. Dark vision. Yeah, if you're going to do it, do, do it. it. Hurry up. Okay, you now have dark vision and a swim speed equal to your movement speed. What? Uh. I want to be able to see in the dark. I'm sick of having to have a torch all the time. What? 
Web gang. No, I have web oh, okay. fingers. I thought you said I'm gay. No. <laughs> and I was like, web it's gang. a really weird How thing to say are. right this minute. <laughs> Enough nope. to provide you a swim speed. So like, I mean, what's your movement speed? 45. You can now swim at 45 feet six seconds. That's really fast. That's real fast. Over, Michael. Yeah, she's way faster than you. What the hell? Um, all right. Let's boogie. I'm the fastest um, human ever. <laughs> lead us to the demon door, Nibbles. Okay. So you guys continue heading Nibbles. back south. Again, you can see where your the stream was, where Wade face planted, and you found the gold ring, mm-hmm. and the path that continues beyond it. Uh, and then you guys continue further south to the area where the torture room was, which um, you can see kind of as you're heading down, there's like the torture room goes this way, and down over there is where the demon door is. So would you like okay. to go straight to the demon door, or would you like to try to see what's up with the prisoner? Torture room? Yeah, probably. Maybe torture he room. has good information and or well, that now that I rescue. Have a, now that I have a rat bear pig under my control, he could safely escape, uh, escort or um, Diego could help uh, him get out. Yeah, I'm sure being around those rat bear pigs would not be like horrible for that guy. Mm-hmm. This thing's so big. Hungry. Yes. Um, I'm going to miss him terribly in six hours. Can I ride him? Well, you could do another six hours. Yep. Any of you could ride him. Can I ride him? I couldn't ride him. I mean, you could. It sure would be fair. Woo! Clamata. Diego, you're going to go passenger. Diego doesn't care. I know. But I like him. Yeah, that's well. You don't care. He's so. my oh, favorite okay. party member. Oh, uh, thank so you. <laughs> yeah, in this room, you guys see there's a table in the center with an array of all sorts of cruel-looking instruments, from scalpels to hooks to sorts of forcep type things. Uh, could be used for surgery uh, oh, or torture. Oh, bad. And there's an open wooden barrel by the wall filled with a bundle of crumpled up clothes and manacled to the uh, blood-stained wall is a human uh, with a white shirt that is no longer white, uh, stained with blood, actually brown now, um, and the dirt all around him stained red with blood. And you can see he's kind of manacled up there. Uh, and you get the feeling he's, he's got to be a teenager. I light a torch. Is he awake or passed out? Uh, he's currently passed out. Hey. And he's like, uh, he's kind of like starting to come to. Hmm? Give him a point. And he a point? like, mm-hmm. just one. Wait, wait, calm down. Well, I was gonna say like that. That might be more useful in combat. I was gonna give him. I have a, a simple health potion. Yeah. Also, she shouldn't be slapping him. I, I was think. Gonna him more oh, so that's an option then. No. So you don't have to slap me. No. He said out of game. He so said he didn't his <laughs> character voice. Um. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Sorry. If you want to get more points, that's good. Idea. Do you get close as you say this? Yeah, I'll walk over. Okay. You can make me um, a start off with an adventure check. And he's like, uh, how, how, how Natural 20. All right. Uh, and he's like, oh. And he like, like, he's scared at first, and then the torch lights bright in his eyes, and then he kind of tries to shield him, but he can't because he doesn't have hands to do so. Um, and he says, how... Oh, um, Oh man, thank God. Are you gonna are you gonna get me out of here? Yeah, probably. Oh my god, thank you so much. And you can see on his neck there is this pretty swollen I'm sorry, on his arm. Swollen uh bite mark. Ooh. And it looks like it's some sort of very large rat caused this bite mark. Mm-hmm. Um but I'd like you to make me a religion check. I'm going to use a charge. So you got a lemon. A lemon's pretty good number. Plus three. Would you like to use another one? I would. I just. Double I just wand? I just yeah. therined. Ooh. Plus four. Nine, so you said plus four? I think I am proficient. So nine plus four is 13 plus, plus four, five. five. So 18. Uh, yeah, it's festering, and it's like a weird mixture of rat-type teeth, but also omen, almost like human-like mm. teeth. And you can just tell with your innate religion that this seems to be festering with some sort of lycanthropy. Oh, fuck. He's not there yet, but when the next full moon comes around, mm-hmm. transformation is likely. He doesn't know that. Yeah. 
but you know. Alright. Um, ooh, would I happen to know off the top of my head what the fate when the next full moon is? Yeah, we'll say that it's not for at least 16 days. 16 days? Okay. And how far away were we from the Citadel? Less than 16 Citadel. days. Okay, cool. We need a room curse. Stat. Mm. Um, uh, what's your name? The web. Yeah, Bryce. Clearly. Bryce? Bryce. Bryce, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's been happening to you here um, before we go uh, kill the guy who did this to you while I try and free you. Uh, yeah, so he is chained up. You don't see keys. I'm going to uh, try and use some thieves tools. Okay. Uh, and he will tell you basically that he's a, an, ex- an aspiring uh, adventurer and he was lured here by the, the, the tail of the, the armor. Uh, of invulnerability, and he thought that would be a great way to really jumpstart his adventuring career. You know, if he were to get that, um, yeah, that'd do it. It'd be a good way to. And go. If he could get down here, get it, and retrieve it all by himself, like, be a legend. It'd be so cool. He'd be like a folk hero. Oh, uh, that's yeah. not where you start. Okay? He's like, but what if I did though? You did though. It didn't work for you. Yeah, but but I, what if I did? You. You did. What? But but I. <sighs> what if you did? Right. What if you did? What if you did? What if you did? What if you did it? Well, then I'd be here like I am right now. Twenty three on my uh, thieves tool check. Okay. Yeah. Easy open. Whoa. And he's like, and he kind of, uh, and he's like. I'll catch him. Yeah. Okay. You catch him, and he's like rubbing at his wrists. He's like, oh my god, thank you. And he'll tell you that basically, he doesn't really know much about the cavern. He didn't get to really see or experience too much. Um, he was ambushed by rats kind of right towards the beginning. Oh. Uh, and then got knocked out. Okay. And he's been chained up here. Um, he tells you he spoke to the Rat King. Um, he tells you that he's an elf. That was going to be nice. Um, but he has sharp teeth. He's really twitchy. Um, and he was muttering about experiments and how they would save the world. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that um, doesn't sound sane. Yeah. I um, what happened to your arm, pal? He said, I don't know. Um, and he said, I, I got, something must have bit me when I got attacked when I first came in here. Ah, uh, that's why you need armor. So that's exactly. Should have got regular armor, though. Are any of these clothes yours? Yeah, these are mine. You will go over and you can see there's a couple extra clothes and some gold and silver and copper pieces that he'll take. Oh, freshen them up a little bit. Okay. And he's just like, it's like at the same time, you know, I, my dad's a blacksmith, but I also thought like this would be really good for like his business too. I'd be an adventurer. I've got the armor and people want to come to the blacksmith whose son got the armor of invulnerability. I was just trying to do it. And he's like, my grandfather was this great warrior, and I was hoping I could be like him, and this would be like my jump start. Yes, I probably should have had some armor and maybe a weapon, but I was like, ah, maybe rogues my 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 jam. And apparently not. You don't even have a weapon, Bryce. I didn't get that far. Do you know how to punch? I mean, uh, sort of. Where are you from? Oh God. Uh, and he'll tell you that he's from Dither. From Dither. And that's where your father lives. Yes. Um, Bryce, for your own safety, where, we're, we're under the Terror Dog Tavern right mm-hmm. now. Do you know, where were you taken? And he says, well, I had, it tells you that he kind of went down into a cave, mm-hmm. um, that was not too, you know, an outside cave, kind of in the, the hills, sort of nearby, and he basically first stepped into them, and then... Okay. The last thing he remembers. Uh, um, yeah. Here. Um, so this is Diego. My rat bear pig. Wow. Impressive. Well, thanks. Um, if you want to uh, bring it. Mm? Get down. What, what? Get down off of Diego. <gasps> Thank you. Here's some uh, bread. And some water. Saying, just like. Oh, don't eat fast, though. You'll throw yeah, eat it slow. Have, drink some water. I drink some water. And he's right. very thankful. Um, 
hop on Diego. He's going to take you to the cellar of mm-hmm. the Terror Dog Tavern. Help yourself to something to eat when you're down there mm-hmm. and wait in the basement for us. Diego's going to wait with you, keep you safe. Okay, great. If anyone asks, this is Diego. Ah, you should have Diego wait like in the tunnel some way. Uh, so if yeah. somebody doesn't come down, they're like, oh! Then Bryce okay. will okay. introduce, sorry. Then Bryce will introduce them to you. Just Diego. saying that Diego is horrifying. No offense, Diego. He can hear you. Can he understand common? No. Then it doesn't matter. Bear pig. Yeah. So why are you even bringing it up like he can hear me? Because the funguses could hear me. They still smelled bad. Fair point. All right. Uh, yeah, what I said. Go. Okay, so he leaves with Diego. Cool. The reason I wanted uh, Diego to wait with him is because he is infected with lycanthropy and doesn't know it yet. So we have to make sure we get him to a cleric that can cure that. So I don't want him leaving Diego's site. I want to know where Bryce is until we cure him. Okay. Fair. So that's, I didn't want to say that in front of him, because he's been through a lot. Yeah. And learning he's probably going to turn into, what I'm going to guess, a were-rat in 17 yes. days. That's a, uh, that's a lot to deal with. So, um, let's go uh, fucking ice this champ. Ugh. Okay, so you guys head out to kind of... To the demon door. To this demon door. Um, and you can see uh, ahead as you kind of get down to the, the stone sort of changes from, on the ground sort of changes from dirt floors to sort of more worked stone. Um, and you can see covering the walls are a bunch of frescoes mm-hmm. of robed humanoids with fish-like heads, each carrying a purple flower in their webbed hands. Uh, and they move, and there seem to be in like a progression or uh, a procession rather, to the end of the hall, uh, where a huge fiendish face made out of iron is awaiting them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do that. Okay. So who's got the flower? Uh, I do. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do that? You don't have the webbed hands. Fair point. True. Pass it over to Rick. Oh, <laughs> I didn't necessarily mean me. Okay, here we go. Um, it's got mouth. Mm-hmm. The door. I bring the flower uh, forward. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it clamps down like lightning fast. Like you get the feeling. Things could have gone pretty poorly had you put your hands in there. Um, we did. We did. Uh, so that's that. why I gave it to you. Yeah. Maybe the adamantine would have helped, but probably wouldn't have hurt. So the door opens. Uh, it's more like <laughs> actually. We'll probably we'll make it swing. The demon kind of chews it up and it winks at you. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> And then it, it separates and opens. That's off, buddy. Beyond the door um, is a tiny little room, um, cramped. It looks sort of like a mismatched bedroom. Um, there's a large bed and a small bedside table, uh, a wooden wardrobe, and a reinforced wooden chest next to the desk, and a tasseled rug sprawled across the stone floor. Any magic? Um... Let me see here. Uh, yes, the entire wardrobe is magic. The wardrobe is magic, guys. Thank you. Is what, there a person in here? What kind you of You don't magic? see a person in here. There's no damn people in here. I thought that's where he would be. Abjuration Jones. magic. Abjuration magic. Uh, you guys do recall you set off an alarm pretty early on. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I move the rug. You move the rug. Is there a trapdoor underneath it? Nope. Ah. Uh, I open the... I check to see if the chest is locked. Um, okay. Uh, roll for initiative. Ah! It's a mimic! You're a mimic. 
Seven. Ooh, 26. Oh, nice. 10. I'm going so first. Uh, 11. The only person who could go first or play me is you. Wait, what's your initiative? Five. Oh, okay. I am the firstest to go list. So alert. Many alert. Many you are. Okay. Uh, and I think we're there. Mm-hmm. We're going to take a break and go Ooh. get some more coffee. We're all right. Hi. Coffee, so coffee, coffee. coffee. First cup, so I'm not going to... Initiative coffee. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me get my notebook. Am I surprised? Take it. Uh, yes. No. Well, I'm a headbutt. On your t- yeah, if you go into a rage. I, I'm not gonna though. Like yeah. Cool. It, could be any, any, it says any body part, but yours. I'll be surprised. Yeah, it's it's not cool. so you gotta... mm-hmm. Only got one rage left. I don't usually run out. Yeah, remember he said he didn't do a script It's weird as a barbarian to run out of your one okay. resource. Red. Yeah. You are up first. Oh, um, Meldrick Blast. Okay. Good move. I'm some attacks against Good this move. dude. Um, no, stop, stop. Stop. And go. So that is going to be a 19 and a 23. Both hit. You see it's 13, folks. Pew, pew, pew. For keeping track for rolling ahead of time. Alright. 13 is not very good. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. 10 and 7. So 17. Okay. Alrighty. You blast into this dude, and he's there. And it is his turn. Oh, Rick, you are right up in its... It's grill. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's gonna slap out at you with a soup pot. Mm. It's his wiener soup pot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was like a disappointed is, noise or like an excited an noise. 18 for pseudopod pod strike. All right, that hits. For 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Damn. It takes one point of piercing damage. That's right. That's... Then. That's the game. It's Red going legs. to. Uh, does it grappling you? No, it doesn't. Then it is 17. So that's going to miss. Yep. And then at Rev, who just attacked it. I'm gonna roll a 23. Is that how you go? Mm. Yes. Because it uh, spits acid. Oh. Out at you. Ooh. Shit! <laughs> Shit. Shit! <laughs> you are gonna take 20 points of acid damage. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, you should have shielded. Yeah! Hindsight. Uh, wave. I'm going to attack it twice with a 13, and that was a 17. Both hit. Yep. And then I'm going to do 20 points and 18 points of damage. Half half. Okay. With Veil Guard's Glory. I will remind everyone. Now, what's your turn, Rick? I'll remind everybody the the idea of pre-rolling was to expedite things, but also to make it more interesting with descriptive combat. Mm, correct. Pass on this one. Your turn, Rick. All right, uh, so this thing's right on me. Yes. Um, it's been slapping you with its sticky pseudopods. Ugh. And it's not like your typical mimic, where it's like, with the tongue. Um, this one, like, the ma- the, the chest looks like, it. Do- the mouth doesn't, like, the chest doesn't open as the mouth. Basically, the top part of the head, sort of the top part of the chest, opens up and like it, Ooh. and it has. It looks like. Ooh, it's like a that frog-looking oh. mimic. Ooh, that's the way I see it. All right, cool. So I am going to. Um, I'm gonna take my dagger uh-huh. in its sheath, right? And I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna unsheath it, and have the Titan Blade, Nice. 
go right. out and stab it, and that's going to deal 16 damage. Right. Um, and then uh, Rick's going to come across and uh, just just try and go straight down through the middle of it. Um, and that was for 15 damage. Okay. Um, and it's good. Like, like, try and try and cleave it in half. Uh, you hit it. It's, just, it's not cleaved in half, though. Ah! Ah, uh, bonus action, punch it. Uh, so that'll hit. Uh, ah! And then I punch it for another nine damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then it is Raina's turn. Okay, so Raina's going to hit it four times. Ooh! Okay. Um, and she's gonna be weaving through all the tentacles very, like, tightly from, uh, Avatar, just like, Okay. Very quick. Sure. Dip, weaving, bobbing. Um, and she's gonna do... Who's dip? He's wave. 59 damage. Okay. Um, did you happen to have what it was before the fourth attack? Yes. Well, I have it before the my bonus action attacks, which was 29 damage. Okay, so I'm going to say, realistically, you don't have to spend the key point, because it looks like you will have defeated it with three strikes. Dip. Is it? And this is a large-sized chest. Ah. So this is not like a <clears throat> like a typical mimic. Like, this thing is, like, it's big. It's like yeah. the size of Diego. No, he's so big. Third attack was it's an unusually seven. large yeah, chest. Okay. I should have. So then, no key points. That's the only new that. that. Um, I mean... I could have unusually large treasure. It could, that's what I was yeah, hoping. Um, <clears throat> treasure. Is there anything in it? Uh, no, but when it dies, you can see that there's a trapdoor underneath it. Ah, <gasps> this is what I was also looking for with the rug. Grab it by a pseudopods and just... <laughs> yeah, and you can see that there is this magic wardrobe. Uh, and there is the kind of bedside table. Um, yeah. Alright, uh, I'm going to go to is that magic wardrobe. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make an arcana check to see if I can figure oh, out what the fuck's okay. going on with this. What about a witch? Um, um, I think that's going to be a 16. It is. 16. Okay. Um, oh, it is made yeah, of rich mahogany. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, Two of each. One girl. Yeah. Uh, when you, it looks exceptionally pristine. Okay. As if dust or age or nothing has touched this thing. Like the ideal scenario. It's okay. beautiful, this thing. It's like, it smells wonderful. It has a nice woody, earthy smell. And um, at least from the outside, it seems everything is perfect. Um, this is fine craftsmanship. Mm. It's also magical. Oh, is it? What kind of magic? At duration. Wave told us like like a minute ago. Uh, I'm sorry. I appreciate uh, that. I forgot in the battle. Fury. I was thinking about cookies. I feel like my it's excuse weird. is better. Um, it's a low bar. Um, Astro. So, uh, do we yeah. open it? it? Make me an yes. investigation check. Yes, we do. Uh, and I should say that the or the um, blind like the abjuration magic is exceptionally. Four. You just say to charge. Yeah, Four. 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 is nipple still with us? Sixteen nipple nibbles. <laughs> wow, uh, nipples nibbles. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't like yeah, get nibbles. his skin yeah. flipped inside out. He would be an inverted nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> no goddamn <laughs> hey mine is gonna be no goddamn inverted, inverted nibble. Rat. Um, um, quality. Uh, sorry, what'd you say? 16. Yeah, um, so I, I, I should say, like, it's almost blinding the amount of the aura from this thing, of the abjuration magic. It's ridiculous. It's weird. Cause and I'm yeah, it is completely, completely like, you thought it was pretty pristine, but upon, like, closer inspection, there is not a bump, a nick, a scratch, anything on the surface of this thing. Oh, shit. That is intense. Um, it's intense. So you open it? Uh, uh, no, I said, do we open it? As more of a posed question. Uh, uh, I, yes. 
I know, but I wasn't really asking you. Um, my thought would be <laughs> to try and maybe throw in Carl for now. The whole wardrobe? Yeah, why not? Fair boy. Another open Carl, figure it out later. Alright. Worst case scenario. We die. Free wardrobe. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. We dying is worse than your worst case scenario. Yeah, but we're not that's not one of the things that's gonna happen. It could be, you don't know. Says the fucking follower of death. Yeah, I know when it's coming. And you don't smell like it's on you. I feel like you just made that up to validate yourself. You totally did. <laughs> roll <laughs> inside if you want to say I don't want to roll against it. I feel like that. I don't need I don't need to roll to have my own feelings. No, but I guess to confirm your feelings. That's the best. Oh, way okay. Alright. I'll roll to confirm my feelings with insight. Two. Well, uh, my deception was a twenty one. Ah. But maybe not. Maybe I don't know. Um Yeah, that that was my suggestion. Unless right. you guys just wanna go ahead. No, no, really, let's take it. I mean, any kind of blinding magic, I feel like, should be approached cautiously. No, 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 let's throw the mat on it. Yeah. We'll take yeah. it for later, and even if we never open it, we'll sell it as a curiosity piece. Oh, well, yeah, you gotta lay it down to get the thing to go over top of it, because it's, uh, it's not gonna fully drape, you know, it's yeah. the way the rug is, it's not gonna cover the whole thing, it's gonna kind of drape over it's top of it. It's gotta be all the way over. I was kind of hoping it's that even though it was over. draped after ten minutes, it would just... All right, let's do it. Oh, there, is, there is a journal on top of the desk, Ooh, too. Snag it. Uh, Look at that. Do you guys want to Yeah. Here. Ready? On three. One, <gasps> two, three. Ooh. <sighs> it's real heavy. But I'm really strong. 24. I can lift double what a normal uh, And when you guys like let it go and it kind of hits the floor, uh, you see the floor underneath it crack. Ooh. It's really heavy. Um, but it is completely unmarred. Mm, good. Carl. Cool. It's not a armor of invulnerability. It's a wardrobe of invulnerability. Those fools had it wrong all these years. Mind the blown. It's got to be it. We've, we've cracked this case, guys. It's the only explanation. So what you if you put your armor in it? Maybe it becomes invulnerable for a certain period of time. Walk inside, see what happens. No, that sounds really dumb. Let's identify it later. <laughs> yeah, let's... So you, with your investigation, and having already read one of these, tried to figure out the chicken scratch to make sense of what it says, uh, you gather, it says, The old voice buzzes in my ears relentlessly. Its call pulls me towards the waters, to the deep, to its domain. I don't know how long I can fight it. I must finish my work. The surface must be warned, and I shall be its savior. My mind is drowning in a sea of whispers. My thoughts flee from me, only to be replaced by something alien. I must write everything down. The work must be completed. The world needs me. I shall not fail. Hey, guys, maybe we shouldn't have put our blood in the thing. Well, no takesy backsies Apparently. This is what I'm missing. So we wait ten minutes, or do we go now? Uh, are we waiting ten, ten minutes, minutes for the rock? Carl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what Luke said. That's when she was reading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You put the wardrobe in the Carl. All right. Now let's head down that trap dirt. Okay. I right, so, check it for traps. Go ahead and make the investigation check. Ah, uh, this is something I'm good at. Oh, look at that. Today it is uh, twenty-two. All right. Yeah. Doesn't seem trapped. Seems like a mimic was probably the trap. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what the thing about it? Uh, you should always check for double trap. That I double trap all of my important bullets. I if I may have done that. I don't know. <laughs> it's well oiled, actually. Is that? Were you just breathing, or was that the sound? No, no, no there was there was a, a change in air pressure. That makes sense. <laughs> all right. So yeah, you're blasted actually with cool air as you open the see? door. See? I know, uh, I know what I'm it, talking about. Uh, you guys can see there's a laboratory down below this Ooh. floor. And it crackles with like Tesla coil-like energy, lightning everywhere. Um, and you can see like your hair, some of you, which is ridiculously long, is like mm -hmm. staticking up on end. 
um, and you hear the sound of like buzzing, like metal buzzing. And there is like a jungle of glass, like pipettes and tubing, like you would have in any kind of mad scientist laboratory. Um, and you can see various different sized jars and Erlenmeyer flasks with different things suspended in them, preserved, moving around. Things are bubbling, there's hissing, little flames, little like Bunsen burner scenarios. And there is a low kind of uh, maybe ankle level, just green mist about the entire area. How high are the ceilings? You guys are descending about 15 feet down is the bottom from where you guys are. Okay. Can I And you can walk? see that this area is at least three times the size of the bedroom. No. Interesting. Cool. That's good. Can I walk on the ceiling so that I'm not in that green mist? Sure. Uh, and you guys can see. I'm making a perception check break, actually. Off from the ceiling. Um, fifteen. Okay. Yeah, you can see uh, in a uh, very strung out, like at a table back facing you, um, is an elf in what looks like a big white trench coat, and he's feverishly like grinding like mortar and pestle things together. And, and jerking quickly and moving over the bubbling things here, and he's going over here, and he's then dropper, you know, eyedropper things into different things, um, and he's twitching, and you know, he's <laughs> moving around. Um, yeah, doesn't seem to see you at the moment. I don't know what to do in this situation. I'll tell you guys. Are we gonna kill him? I think we should try and save his mind first. That sounds exhausting, but try. Okay, no. Wait. Not me, though. No. None of us can... Do this. Think none of us have the power to help him. You might have the power to s persuade him. To what? To, to help. seek help? Magically? I think he thinks he is helping. I know, but like... You would have the best chance of being able to persuade him. And if that doesn't work, I'll drop on him from the ceiling. <sighs> Fine. Alright. You silver dumb bastard. You guys can see, or you can see Rick, um, you know, there are some like creepy, weird, distorted, rat-like fetuses floating in some of these things. There are organs, um, anatomical charts of rats, of dragons, of humans, of all sorts of different things strewn about the wall, um, and all sorts of bubbling yeah. vats of liquids and things. He was torturing, torturing that guy. Yeah. We're gonna fucking murder him. Right. Okay. Should I try and sneak up on him from the ceiling? No. Shoot. You want to just go? Should we just try guys, to attack it? Guys, I understand what you're saying. Oh no, I start going towards him. But way gouger. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch there Blast. That's how that ends. Yeah. Alright. You cast Eldritch Blast then? Uh, no, the metaphor. Okay. But I do cast out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> Metaphorically. Yeah, that's what I do. We run in the tag. Yeah, we do. Do you get the prize today? Uh, I mean, if you're I running in and attacking, no. I'm attempting Please? to stealth off the ceiling. Make me a stealth check. I'm not awful at these. Natural 20? That puts me at a big 21. <laughs> so you are able to make your way over there without making any noise on the ceiling as he's fidgeting the around. Slippers. I think to myself. Which I is, myself. they're terribly named because you don't slip at all. <laughs> not in these ones. Not ne not ever. No. Not once. All right, so okay. I'm going to get right above him. Yep. I'm going to throw out three fingers. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to drop. Okay. You are able to drop. On him. Yeah, make me an attack roll. Ah! How far away I are you? I also yell, like, ah! We bust in. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, this area is pretty big. So where he's at, you're got to go 15 feet down, and Rick had to basically walk across the room about uh, 40 feet. Okay. All right. Um, that'll be a 25. Uh, 25. I think we'll hit. I Gosh, I hope so. 
No, miss. Oh, oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Saving throws. Oh, yeah. 25 misses. I can do better. Can you? Yeah. Nice. I have a plus 9 to hit. I have a plus 10 to hit. <sighs> if this was evil game, I could have killed Bryce yes. and gotten a Harvey Specter. Oh. Could have. That is a hit. Alright. Um, who do I grapple him? You mm-hmm. can try. I feel like he's just going to teleport. You just punch him. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, with the greatest uh, sword. Of punch him with the titan blade. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Punch him with the pointy end. As I'm falling, I'm going to draw the titan blade. Mm-hmm. I guess it's hard to visualize it where I'm falling from the ceiling and drawing it. But I'm going to draw it so it's just coming straight down. And I'm going to stab it into him uh, and deal uh, 14 points of damage. Plus fall damage? Plus fall damage? Sure. Yeah. Uh, 16 points of damage. Ta! You shouldn't torture people. Roll for me. That. 20. 18. It's great to have advantage. 21! Look at you. 10. Fire. You have such initiative. I'm very initialized. Yes. What? This fight. Much inish. Very initiative. Very initiative. So he goes first, um, and you see he like looks around. And he's like bah! at you, and he's like, freaking out. And he's, um, and he like chitters to the air like a rat. Like, and you see like coming out from the walls are more rats. Rats. You see uh, two of the pustule covered rats. Ah. Uh. You see one spider face hugger rat, mm. uh, a red dragon rat, Ooh. one rat, the canary yellow feathered rat that you saw before, with Jerks. the feathers in the beak, a pet rat, uh, and a rat bear pig. Oh no! And one of those little bulbous floaty ones. Gross. Gross. Laser. Laser rat. Laser. Uh, all right, so he's gonna go first. Oh, he's... I get it. It's not ar- It's not armor. I got it, Tepta. I got it. Mm. Armor, armor. Yeah. It's a pun, internet. <laughs> Thanks. And we hope you get it too now. All right, so let's see here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You enjoy that. Well done. <laughs> well done, Jake. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Ted. Too. Well done. Yeah. Both of you. Well done, all of that. A plus. Yeah, thank you. Oh, gold star. I figured it out. I, too late to, for it to have been helpful if it was like a trap or something, but I figured it out. Mm-hmm. You did. You be all right, you watch as around you, Jake, mm-hmm. uh, erupts uh, darkness. Counterspell. Um, okay, make me a roll. What's your what's your thing? Fifth. Uh, I'm at fourth level spells. Yeah, fourth level spells. So if it's a fourth level or lower. Uh, no, go ahead and make me a roll. Oh, do good though. I'll do my best. Um, and it's plus my spellcasting mod plus yes. proficiency bonus or no, just just that. Uh, so seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah. Ha! And he's like, that wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> so? <laughs> oh man, now I'm going to a rage. Um, okay. G- uh, your, your turn. Alright, cool. I go into a rage, and I'm going to strike out twice with the Titan Blade. I didn't write out what I did for damage. I broke my to hit with both hit. Um... All right, so I landed next to him. Um, he's got like a laboratory full of equipment. Everywhere, yeah. I don't care. Big arc swing. <laughs> 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 I'm 
I, uh, I would like to point out that I am still by the ladder. Yep. 16 damage. I was going to say, we, we haven't moved it. 16 damage? Okay. Yep, and then I'm going to just go straight for his stupid rat stomach. <laughs> for another 15 damage. Okay. Uh, did you say 15, what was the first one? Sorry, 16 or 15? Yes, and that was all reckless. Okay. So I'm going to take my extra temporary hit points. On the rat king? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look back at you guys. Okay. Bring it. Where are the pus rats? Uh, they're kind of all in the general vicinity around him. And also Rick. How many can I hit if I move into range and use my breath whip? Um, can I hit? Will I hit him? Yeah, you'll hit. Her. But you'll hit. Just, like, you'll him. also hit. You'll hit probably all of them. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I don't care. Are you sure? I'm the barbarian. That's true. You get. Mm-hmm. And you how, get many, so many how, many, how many hit points do you have? How many temporary uh, hit points do you have? I have eight temporary hit points and 113 regular Rabbit. hit points. I have. Fewer. Fewer, yeah. Well, because I figured if I could hit the pus ones from far away so when they explode, we don't get hit with the yeah, explosion. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I, I, I think you should do it. I'm yeah. going to. Uh, I'm going to use... <laughs> Go for it. Three. Yeah, I'm going to use three key points. Okay, so I have to make many dexterity Ah, uh, I have to make one, but with advantage. I feel very advantaged. This. Oh, that is bad! Ah. Oh. 20. Oh. Oz. My. Oz. Oh dear. Oz. Is that five? It's 15. How many D's is this? Six. Oh. I got three ones. Honey. I got three ones. <laughs> All right. So. Um, <laughs> so everybody, you just rolled three ones. Four everybody ones. Oh, everybody okay. saves. Um, and you watch as the, uh, the Rat King sort of absorbs that element, Mm. taking even less damage. So, like, four, five damage? Oh. Would you say 15? Yeah. Eight, four. Four damage. So that Um, but the two Explody Rats do explode. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you guys are gonna take, I need you to make, or no, I'm sorry, I gotta make some rolls on damage. Everybody's gonna take it though, him as well. Good. Can't absorb two elements. So that is 14 points of acid damage. Oh, well that's for one. And then seven additional points of acid damage. That tells you. So he's gonna take that as well. He lists it by bonus action. Oh, uh, the dragon, red dragon rat takes no damage. Fair enough. All right. So that uh, everybody, the other ones, they look rough. Uh, everybody else looks like they're hurting. He seems okay. Uh, and again, the the red dragon rat took no damage. Okay. Um, but uh, the other rats, basically all of the other ones, don't look so hot. Uh, based on the 20 some points of acid damage. Yeah. Uh, then it is all of their turn. So we can ignore uh, those guys because they're You're out. dead. Um, all right. So then. Um, There's still a lot of them, right? Yeah, but they're all pretty heavily damaged. Yeah, so they'll just be. All right. I need you, Rick, to make a constitution saving throw. I'm good at those. A 22. Okay. I am good at those. That's one of the one of the things I'm good at. You're going to take five points of thunder damage. Ah! As the little canary rat just chirps extremely loud in your face. It's like me. Similar like a thunder wave, ah. uh, but you don't get knocked down. And then it just continues to just squawk and squeak constantly. Um, uh, and like everybody's, your all of your ears are ringing. Um, uh, that's that for now. All right, then we've got a red dragon rat who's here. He's gonna take a note out of your book 
and he's going to breathe fire back. Ah! <laughs> um, so I would like you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I'm good at those. Yeah. It is still just a rat. Oh, no. I'm going to use... No, actually, I'm going to feel lucky. Have you used all of your luck for I today? Have one more. Okay. That's better. 19. Alright, so no damage. Nope. Um, Alright. <laughs> then. Your battle, except one of them's a rat. My spider rat's gonna jump on your face. Ah! Duh! <laughs> He's gonna try. That is a. He's a Brina's war noises. <laughs> What's Brina's AC? 19. Alright, all right, so he misses. But he's <laughs> right next to you, though. He's like on your shoulder. Ready to jump up and get in the face. Alright. Alright, we got our laser guy. Laser eyeball rat. He's gonna shoot a ray at Brina. Make me a wisdom saving throw. 22. And then one at you. As well. Wisdom. Oh, okay. Ah, well that's that's pretty badly cocked. Uh, a ten. Yes. <laughs> Wreck my boy. It's gonna happen sometimes. You feel this confusion take over your body. Um, you Whoa. cannot take reactions <laughs> until the end of your next turn, and on your turn. Um, you have to move and attack a randomly chosen person. Oh, All right. Yeah. So we'll no, get to that. No. Oh yeah. yeah oh right. yeah. Spider rats. Oh no, Mister Kool Aid Man. Explode <laughs> rats. We gotta fix that wall. <laughs> Rat king. Oh no. Oh, where's my where's my rat bear pig? I get him in here. Um, Alright, so you're gonna get it attacked. So it's gonna come running towards you. It's gonna charge you. Even. What? It yeah. doesn't wanna do that. Oh, well, it does. Oh, it does with the 23. No! Um, I'm not you are gonna take. 24 points of slashing damage. Yep. Yeah, that works. Yep. Um, as it gores into you, and you are knocked prone. So that just means I'm knocked down. Uh, yes, and then it's going to attack you again with advantage with its rat claws. Oh! oh that's rat only claws. a 17, so it misses. Dope. Um, Dope. I believe that was all of the things. Yes, that was so all of what, the rats. Five of the rats left. Yeah, there's the, the rat bear pig, the spider rat, spider rat, the laser rat, the dragon rat, the squeaky rat, and the rat, and the rat king. king. Okay. And then it is Wave's turn. I'm gonna ride the wave. Okay, you're gonna get Ooh. down there first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna move into range. All right. So I updated it slightly to be uh, more in line with some other things, having witnessed a lot of them go off recently. Mm. Um, so, all right. Do a big game patch. 30 foot everything. long, 20 foot wide, tall. Hmm? 20 foot wide, like 20 specials. feet high. So it could be the whole room, Yeah. essentially. Um, so it's 46 bludgeoning or cold damage. Okay. Plus your fire level. Nice. Thirteen, uh, twenty-five. Yes, twenty-five ocean. points. Um, the oceans come to Avengers, man. If there's, any, if there's any way I can oh, surf it no. around. Oh, no. So, a couple of things. They gotta make a save. They take half damage if they succeed. They mm-hmm. make dex save. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if they fail, they're all knocked. They're knocked prone. As part of it. Mm-hmm. And do 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 do. I need the fires in the area are put out. You can go along with it anywhere you want along the path, but I decided that because you are the ocean, um, you can control and like 
pockets, so mm-hmm. if you don't want to hit your allies with the wave, mm-hmm. you can kind of go around them. So you can just fill the whole room and just not hit okay. Brina or Rick and just hit all of them with it. Perfect. Sure. Alright, so I'm going to make some really? deck saves. It's just one it's straight just, wave. Yeah, it's just it just goes out from you, and you can ride along it anywhere. And like, anywhere that it if touches... It, if it, does it is your snake kingdom. or... No, it just okay. goes in sure. a line. Anywhere sure. the wave touches. And anywhere that it goes, you can be in that spot at the right. end of it. All right, so or you can stay where you are, or just follow along. I'll be next to the Rat King Okay. after that. All right, so... <clears throat> right. Canary Rat is dead. Nice. Whew. The squeaking has stopped. Um... Eyeball Rat is dead. Yeah. You're still confused, but it's dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, how much damage did you say it was? 25. Okay. Spider Rat is barely hanging on by a thread. Dragon Rat looks pretty okay. Rat Bear Pig is a little bit of a tank, so he's doing... He's bloodied. Uh, and the Rat King... He's still doing okay. He's not doing great. He's not bloodied yet. Nice. Bonus action, chill plate. Okay. And action surge. Sure. Whoa. Uh, you didn't activate chill plate already, did you? No. I don't. I don't, I don't think, think so. you did. Um. Saving it for the big fight. Yeah, I don't think I did. Uh, and I use one charge for bill card glory. Uh, so I'm gonna swing out at the spider rat. Okay. For a natural That's twenty. Spider rat. Spider rat. About to buck up this spider. Oh, oh shit! Wow, we. The wastes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Twenty nine. Did you do at least three points? Yeah, twenty nine plus. Mm. Uh, Eat it. Dead. That sucks. <laughs> I know. Oh man. Plus five. That's at least three. Yeah, it's it's over thirty. Okay, then it's dead. It's ten times dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just many. missed. <laughs> Go ahead and right off her me, shoulder too. Um, <laughs> roll me Thanks, a d six. One. Okay. Uh, Brina, as it, it as it hits. Oh yeah. It actually, yeah, that's you. The not sparks. The, sparks go off, but Brina's able to just like oh, nice. don't get hit by the sparks from and here. Then, so that was one direction, right? Yeah. And then I'm gonna come back the other direction and uh, use the charge. And uh, Thunder Wave, the Rat King. Okay, so that will hit Rick as well. Thunder Wave. Oh well. Thunder Wave. I could, since I'm swinging overhead, could I just have the the cube go basically down, just right where, you know, like Rick is on top of him with the blade in him, and then the veil exactly. guard is gonna come <laughs> down, and it's the it's facing downwards. No, uh, because I was going to give it to you, and then you very clearly brought up the fact that Rick was on top of him with the blade in him. Right, but if I connect with the Rat King, he's gonna be he's gonna be. You might as well just hit him at that point, then. Yeah, might as well just hit him rather than Thunder Wave. Yeah, all right, I'll just hit him. We gotta roll this. (laughs) No way, Patrick McGowan. That's my name. So uh, twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, teammate of mine is going to have no goddamn inverted combat. <laughs> <laughs> For 25. 25 points. Okay. That was good. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. It was way back. Yeah. Good this job. Fantastic, even. All right. Is that turn? Okay. it? Yeah, yeah I, I guess so. Yeah, but that was pretty, pretty good. Out from his back ish area, <laughs> Rev will bring out the hurdy gurdy. Uh. Oh! <laughs> and Tasha's hideous laughter on, on the, rat the Rat King. So a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, what the wait, fuck? Wait, was the Rat King knocked prone? You didn't thunder wave. No, no. Uh, uh, no. Right? He, I mean, he had his turn, so he no, didn't no, grab him. No, no, no. I decided to hit him instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost grabbed him. Uh, that's a twenty. Butts. Did that happen? Nope. Okay. Aww. Hey, she didn't waste a spell though. First. That's true. That's, true. That's why I did. So that was your action. That yeah. was. Mm. Anything else? Sure. Blah. I curse him. Okay. 
He is cursed. So it's the Rat King's turn again. Uh, then he is going to uh, cast a spell. Uh. Go ahead and make me a roll. Don't you want to know what the spell is before you use it? I don't think I would in game. Fair. Yeah. Reasonable. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, it's gonna be a fail because my roll is less than the fourth level spell that it observed. So uh, charge. Oh okay. wait, it's it upcasts automatically the fourth level. Right, right, right. So if it's fourth level or below, it just happens. Uh, right? yeah. yeah, but it's a it's it's above. So. Yeah, so I'm using a charge to reroll because my uh, shit was bad. Um, oh, better. better. Twenty three. If he's casted thirteenth level spells, you'd still get him. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's gone. All right. Who needs? I say no. <laughs> who needs Oz? No, not Oz. Damn right. All right, Rick. Uh, I need you. Oh. Ha! So I say to him again. Uh, I attack. What do I attack? You're not there. I'm by the ladder. Gotcha. Okay. These two. Rat King, yeah. And the dragon guy. Yeah, who's still alive right now? And the and the rat bear pig. Yeah. Rat bear pig. I think dragon still guy. Wave. Yeah, because yeah, you're attacking. Oh. Hey, bud. So. I think it's just those three. Okay. Right, Ted? Yeah. Uh, rat, <laughs> bear, pig, pig, dragon rat. Ooh. Dragon, dragon rat, rat and rat king. Just those three? Sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh. why do you roll good names? Wait, was that a critical? No, that was two hits. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, I'm going to take your <laughs> chill plate damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. But you're going to take 18. <laughs> It's just a D8, right? It's not a plus. Yeah, no, it's just a D8. You're going to take 34 points of damage as I'm just like, ah, blah, blah. There's too much shit just happened. <laughs> and then oh, immediately shit. after that, you're like, what's okay. safe? Oh! Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> Rage stays up though, because I dealt damage. So. <laughs> can't True. Attack. Yeah. True. Can't can't fault you for that one. All right, uh, Brina. Uh, who is the closest no. enemy to me? Uh, the rat bear pig on top of you. Yeah. Oh, it's on top of me. You're prone. But is it like on top of me, or can I get up? Yeah, you can get up, but it's oh. like over looming over you. Um, I'm gonna keep up. Okay, you do. And then I'm gonna hit it. Okay, let's see. I hit it! Because of my temporary oh. <laughs> From the chill plate. 17 damage! Okay. That was one punch. And then I hit it again. Uh-huh. And that's for 15 damage. Alright. And that's two punches, it's still up. And then I'm gonna kick it! Ooh, but I can re-roll because it's a natural one. Or do I, did I use all those for today? I need at least, at least two, I think. Spelt one. I have one more. Okay, so then only one. So then I roll again. Ah! I roll again. It's possible. It's fine. It happens. And I hit it with a 30. Yeah. For 18 points of damage. It looks like it's barely hanging on. <laughs> Son of a gun. And then I use a key point and I punch it one more time. Okay. Hit the dick. And then I do hit for the dick that is. Sure. 4.15. Alright, and the rat bear pig falls. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I look at the dragon one. Come for you next! I wouldn't, I wouldn't announce that. Actually, You're it's a rat. There. It's fine. I am there! I'm just not right there. Alright, and that's the dragon rat's the only one that's left. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, because it was a rat perfect, so it's dragon rat. Good use of riding the wave, but... Yeah, it wasn't good use, and it really did a lot of damage. So. Yeah, best turn. Yeah, that was pretty... That was a really good shot there. Yeah. Had some other real good Honestly, rounds, though. Honestly, the only way that that round could have gone better is if you hit something else with that huge, awesome crab rat. Yeah. 
Rat King with a rat bear peg. He rolled eight, eight, seven, and six. That's beautiful, man. There's nothing. There's. Oh, it's so hard to be like that. That feeling. The D, I feel like D8s when they roll well. They're mm-hmm. the most satisfying. I agree. I feel like D6s when they roll poorly are the least satisfying. <sighs> Wait, what's your or what's your AC? Twenty one. Cool. You are gonna take the rat. Dragon rat's gonna attack you. You are gonna take. It's gonna claw you with its little rat claws. You're gonna take seven, 11, 13 points from the claw. Then it's gonna bite you. A little bit of fire damage on this one. Well, let's see if I get first. Nope, actually, no, it's gonna miss. All right. So that's it. Wave. I, I missed the second time, so it's your turn. Sorry, bud. It's all right. I'm gonna attack the Rat King twice. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna use a charge. A. Oh, you don't have any. Well, I had thought I had 12. No, you had 10. Oh. And you used all 10 of them. I did, didn't I? Now he's got it all tracked down. Oh, well. Yeah, sorry. That's no lying to me, friendo. Mm. (laughs) I'm just a witch and we have a wardrobe. Um, technically it's an armoire. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, that's what that was all about. Yeah, an armoire of invulnerability. Alright, so the second attack then will hit with a 20... Sorry, a 20 what? 23. Yeah. And I will do 16 points of damage. Nice. Yes. Alright. Um, I am going to, bonus action, use a first level spell to cast Hex. Okay. And you're at 60 feet. Yeah. Uh, and then I will Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, 18 and a natural 20. No, well, it's... both of those will hit. All right. So, um, hmm, how am I going to do this? So, I put away my hurdy-gurdy, and then... We'll draw Black Stabbath, point it at it, and I'm gonna have my Eldritch Blast shoot out of, like Link style, shoot out of the tip mm-hmm. nice. of um, you should have your Eldritch that bitch. Blast be the sword shape. Ooh, that's a better idea, and it's gonna be the <laughs> shape of the sword. Okay. Go All right, so for the first hit, which uh, for the crit, it's gonna be nine plus nine is 16, oh, what is 18, plus five is 23 plus my proficiency bonus, which is a 3, is a 26. Dang. All right. pretty damn good. And the second blast is going to do 9 damage. Fuck yeah, man. All right. I'm glad I cast tax before that. Mm-hmm. Well, our Rat King friend here is bloodied for sure. Okay. Cool. Um, bonus action. And cool. That is my turn. Okay. Um... Shit. Okay. It's his turn. Do we know? Now he's going to cast a spell. He is. Yes, he is. Three times, but nope, nothing happens. That's fair enough. Darkness envelops the area. Um, And you feel, coming from this darkness, these tentacles. And they're coming for you right now. So, what the fuck did you do? He cast a spell. Oh, right. Not him. Um, Piece of shit. Like everybody to make dexterity saving throws. Am I within the range? No, you are outside the range. Aha! 17. 27. So you're not going to take any damage. You're going to make a dexterity saving throw. Good luck. Bad luck. Too bad. How? Uh, what? Who is it? What? Uh, he cast a spell. Tentacles came out of the, the darkness, oh. and now they're coming at us. Mm. I had a 17. Ooh. Rena rolled a 27. She's fine. She's fine. <gasps> I'm probably still not good. Mm. Yeah, no. You are going to, both of you are going to be hit. It's, it's bludgeoning damage, though, so enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. So that's going to be 13, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. So 14 of you, 
seven to you. You are both restrained by the tentacles. Do the tentacles take three points of damage? They seem immune to the damage. Fuckers. And strangely enough, all three of you, like, it hurts, and it's weird and creepy. I don't feel so bad. Like, if it feels almost like it's okay. Like, these tentacles, and where they're, the space they're coming from, you could be down with this. All right, then it's Rick's turn. I like one. It's, it's gross. Ah, but no. it also feels okay. It's like, you're like, oh, maybe. Uh, Let me try it again. All right. Uh, so, restrained, I can still attack. Correct. You can't move, and you have a disadvantage on all attack rolls. I have regular attack rolls. Then. I'm going to have to re-roll my attacks now, though. Um, because I rolled with, previously with advantage. But before I attack, I'm going to... Did you do that already? I didn't. I've been okay. saving it. Okay. Uh, I attack. Natural 20. Woo! Can't stop me. Who is this against? This is against the Wreck King. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is it dark? Uh, yeah. So I can't see anything? I but just in, feel tentacles? Improved dark vision. No. So no. That's just not regular bad. dark vision. That's regular dark vision. Ten. Oh, I also forgot at the start of your turn, Rick, you took... 17 points of bludgeoning damage okay. for starting your turn in the area. Oh, Fair enough. Shit. I'll cut that right in half. And then I will deal 10, 20. No, no, 10, 20. Uh, 36 points of damage with my Is that first attack. critical, too, in there? Oh, no. So there's one more d6 on that. 41. Nice. Well, it wouldn't only be fitting. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with my second attack. Yeah. Yeah. Why won't you die? Natural 20! Hey! How do you wanna do this, Jake? Um, I wanna run him through the center, and I just wanna I just wanna run the Titan Blade straight into the wall. And get it stuck in the wall. Ah! Holy Woo. shit! Woo. Okay. Look at them sixes! Okay, so now when you roll 20, for stats, 32. I stab him through the wall. <laughs> I stab him through the wall. 33... 44. 44, yeah. Yeah, one hit point. So. You guys are doing great at overkill tonight. Nice. Got him right And I'm gonna bump... Oh, no, I already bumped Does the darkness this. go away? Yes. Woo! The tentacles go away. Well. You're a little upset. Is the dragon rat still there? Yep. Is it my turn? Yeah, I have yeah. bonus action target. Cool! I will run it after it. save. I can save. I'm good. There's a strength check oh. to break it. My, no, oh, you're You'll to keep it. it. Yeah. yeah. Double 16's on the roll, so we're good. AC is 13, right? AC is 13, yeah. Ooh. Cool. So oh, sorry, rat, rats are, the dragon rats are 14. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Ah, you have four attacks. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, using a charge. I did. I still don't hit him. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's fine. Um. Well, I hit him with my first attack, so I'm gonna run and jump in like knee him. Oh shit. Says so first one. Need that stupid rat right in its dumb face. Oh, God, why did I roll my compact garbage? Take that, Peter uh, Pettigrew. Ten points of damage. Okay. And then after you I bounce down and spin a roundhouse kick, but I miss him because I overshot because I'm too bouncy and it hyped up. So, but then I come down, and then I go up and I headbutt him. So and I hit it. That's a girl. That girl. Still rolling the garbage for 11 points of damage. Oh, that's enough. Yeah. Headbutt him into the ground. Oh. Told you I was coming for you. Ah. Impressive. Um, well done, team. When the Titan Blade job, shrinks, Rick. I pull it out of the wall. Good job, kid. Um, Good job, you. Nibbles. Yeah. Well, it's done. It, it is done. Our bargain. Is complete. I still have a question. For whom? Just in general. 
Oh, he says, thank you. He Why were the rats needed, stealing alcohol? He needed his other potions. Is that what it was? Um, or are you just saying that? That's a guess. What is your next Are they Were they just move? boozy? Nibbles. So well, and, things, and um, now that he's oh, gone and you're on to ascend to the surface, I will, I will accompany you at least to the surface. I, I find people find rats slightly uh, mm. off-putting. That is so, a good uh, way to describe it. The ability, uh, my ability to turn myself invisible is um, pretty useful in that manner, but I, I mean, I, you both, you all, I mean, that the, the display of arcane magic that you provided was immense. And his piddly magic was no, nothing compared to your arcane prowess. I was pretty good. Huh? He says, yes, that's what I just said. What Nibbles just said, I should say, because he doesn't know pronouns. Doesn't know pronouns. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to teach him pronouns. That's fine. And he says, <laughs> I would be, he says, I mean, I, I can clearly go about and find on my own, but if you have someone that you think would be worth me uh, joining, um, then I can go meet with them. Or if you're interested, I could accompany you. Um, and I... Uh, mm. Nibbles. <laughs> it says, a familiar is a thing I hear that arcane casters have. I could do that. Uh, Nibbles I... could do that. You're slipping. <laughs> Nibbles could do that, sorry. I am going to say to Nibbles in his brain so no one else can hear, um, Nibbles, you seem like a very intelligent creature. And I will... Like on a scale of 1 to 20, Nibbles would say 16. Yeah, so um, if you are more than Nibbles welcome to accompany us, us <laughs> but I will <laughs> warn you, me. there's a lot of stupidity in this group. Well, perhaps Nibbles' abilities would be useful. Yes, immensely. Um, uh, <sighs> guys, Nibbles is going to come with us. Yay! Um, are you familiar with the god Bahamut? Nibbles. Not, I, I mean, I was focused, Nibbles was focused mostly on Arcane, so uh, no. Okay. That's where we're going next. Not to Bahamut, to people who love him. Mm. Right. Can't wait for Nibbles to meet Ted Cooper. Does this guy have any magic on him, Wave? Does he? Woo! <laughs> Nibbles! Uh, yes. Um, a staff. Well, actually, on him, no. There is a staff in the room and a couple other things. Some You guys did a pretty good number and damaged a lot of the equipment that was here. Mm. So there are... It's all being used for evil, rad experience. There is, I love this. There is one potion mm. that appears as though it was magic. Uh, one healing potion. You see the remnants shattered so amongst <laughs> shards of glass. Several other... Magical potions um, that there's just like the residue of them as they just are destroyed. Um, but there is a staff, um, like a walking stick, mm. uh, and it is carved to resemble a mass of rats tied together by their tails. Oh, wow. Ooh. There's mm. this stick right here. I'm not this. interested personally. Love mm. this. Nibbles. Nibbles can, at any time, for any reason, end its service as a familiar. Yeah, that's You'd fair. just be like, no, I don't want anyone. Huh. Turns that's out awesome. you guys were dicks. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, this isn't what I signed on for. This isn't what Nibbles signed on for. No. Um, what is Nibbles' alignment? What's his number? True neutral. True neutral. What's his number? Half. Half. 0.5. Zero 0.5. Thank you, Wormwood Gaming, for the follow. Woo! <laughs> Um, yeah, so you guys, there is this staff, this rat staff is here. Um, you can also see again, like, a couple areas seem to, like, catch fire, where, like, some alchemist fire was there that broke and is, like, just burning into the atmosphere. Uh, and one regular healing potion that survived the destruction. Um, Who wants that? Who has the least healing capability? You. You also have a lot more dying capability. Uh, yeah, but he likes mm -hmm. that, though. No, he doesn't. No? It's lower. He likes it less. Don't let me get weird. Okay. All right. I don't know what that's from. You so missed just... that. That was a thing from before. Oh, okay. Uh... All right. 
I guess what we'll just take the staff and sell it someplace, right? Give it to uh, Nibbles. Wait, what was it? It's a oh, staff, but it looks like the top. It's wooden. Uh, yes, top it's is like a cane carved to look like a bunch of rats tied moves. together by their tails. Okay, like What's a rat. Yeah. Like, we don't like know. A small rat? Is it magic? We haven't touched it. It is like magic. Like a regular, regular, regular sized rat. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought he was a big rat. No, no, he's not. It's a uh, throw it in, Carl. Okay. Uh, and then when we get out of here, we can identify the armoire, the staff, and actually we just carry the staff. We could identify all three. Oh, and there is a passage that leads out of this room away. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder if this oh, is where. Oh, uh, nibbles. Yes. Uh, what? Do you know if uh, these creatures that um, this Rat King has made uh, are inherently evil or aggressive or like the room we found you in? Hmm. What should we do about all them? Um, and Nibbles says, "Well, uh, if, if, if you or me, Nibbles was going to let them go to fight you, but he turned out to be." Much nicer. Yeah, that's so, fair. Um, I don't want to leave them in there to starve to death, but I also don't want uh, wild, wild, bear creatures. wild rat bear pigs and rat dragons. And uh, Nibble says that's it's a reasonable uh, thing. I, I, Nibbles would agree with that. Nibbles would say uh, perhaps some things are not meant for the, the world day. above. Yeah. Um, and were those to breed, I'm not sure, or Nibbles is not sure how that would work. And Nibbles is not sure if that would propagate more. Yeah, and if uh, we have rat bear pigs breeding, pardon the phrase, like rats. Correct. That could be bad. Correct. Uh, Nibbles is in agreement. Thought. I have no thought. <laughs> we go... <laughs> Up to a blue flame. Mm-hmm. Tell him about it. Maybe he can open up a rat zoo. No, no. Kill all the rats. Destroy any um, eggs data from oh. his exper- experiments. Yeah. All right, let's go kill all those rats. And then uh, maybe get rid of this. Some some time. The web. Yeah. Oh, we gotta go get Bryce. That too. Okay. Um, so. Oh yeah. You guys okay. kill all the rats. I'll go check on Bryce. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Should we check out this other tunnel? Yeah. Okay. First. Yeah. <laughs> you guys go down that tunnel. Mr. Um, the cage just pew, pew, pew. Yeah, so you guys kill the rats. It's nothing. Okay. Uh, so you guys go down that tunnel, and it sort of uh, it kind of goes off to a side, and that seems to have been caved in now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems fresh, the cave in. Right. And then also off kind of to the left, it, you can see that's sort of where the water is washing out and like uh-huh. underneath that. And that's sort of where the fl- like the flooded tunnel that you kind of saw from up above. Mm-hmm. Um, you could probably swim up this and like there's an overhang. So if you get like up underneath it, you'll probably be out in that long corridor where you saw the stream going. Right. Which was only like two and a half or like three feet deep. Right. Um, yeah. I don't have any interest in swimming up that. Cool. Let's just walk. Yeah. You? I'm swimming. I figured. Um, but before I do, Nibs, Neil. Are you talking? Neil? Yeah, he, yeah. They, take a knee. He walked. Oh, away he left. Him. He's yeah. gone. Yeah, he's a mil- You haven't seen him anyway, really. He's been oh, invisible. Oh, make him the new Rat King. <laughs> well, maybe later. Do not pollute his mind. Um, he's too neutral for now. Oh. All right. Oh. So you're swimming up this, right? You're heading up this. As you make your way kind of up, you just kind of swim through and you kind of get into the area where you can now wade um, up. And it's back to where it was kind of, it's a little deeper, but you're making your way back up to where things were uh, shallow. And kind of down at the bottom here, you can see um, there's a crumbled black stone. um, And it's like where one of the falls are, where it's kind of like behind the waterfall. And uh, it seems like there's some sort, like a pile of bones there, and some sort of like desecrated altar with some old stained blood on it. Um, at least, again, you can kind of see this through the waterfall now that you have dark vision. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you'd have to get close to get a better look. So I'll get closer. 
It makes me an investigation check. Oh yeah. Seven. Okay. You get closer and you kind of push yourself through the waterfall. And you can see there's definitely, definitely an altar here. Maybe a dexterity check. Natural 20. Ooh. Sorry, 20. so you don't slip mm. on the rocks down here. Almost. Mm. But not this time. Um, yeah, and it looks like it has like a flat like dais where some sort of things would happen. Um, covered in blood. Mm. Or like dried blood. Old blood. I will wash it clean. Okay. Control water. Sure. And uh, say a little something for the triad and say, you know, clean it and maybe re. re uh, consecrate? Yeah, consecrate. That's the word. Try to make me a religion. Make, well, you can do that I too. To. Make me a uh, religion check. <laughs> oh, lovely. Ah. Uh, four. Oh. Uh, you're like, no, try that. You call, you start calling it the Trinity again. <laughs> you start calling, and like, in seemingly oh, in the like, Trinidad. <laughs> whether it's in, uh, you're not sure why, but like the stone just like <coughs> cracks, cleaves right down the middle. Oh, oh shit. Uh, that could actually be a better thing. That could be another investigation check. Oh. <laughs> He's Whoa. like, woo, woo. <laughs> Um, it cracked right through, like a hidden area underneath the altar, uh -huh. and there is a blade. Oh. A dagger that is, like, nasty-looking, twisted black blade covered in some sort of ichor. It's okay. magic. I hardly know her. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to carefully pick it up. You have it. All right. I'll leave. Just continue your swim. Yeah. Okay, you guys kill all the rats. <laughs> you make it up, and then there is the path that goes, the one kind of across the river path that goes down. But you guys have not gone down. Let's go down it. Might as well check it out, see if there's any other rats. Fine. We killed all the other ones. Fine. All right, as you guys make your way... You're all <coughs> getting together and going down this together. Okay. Right. You can see uh, as you start making your way down, um, there's like a very faint, like, kind of in the air. And you can see a robed humanoid oh, a leaned against the wall uh, at the entrance to this chamber. And it's holding a, a piece of old parchment with a lantern by its side. Um, and the entire ceiling of stalactites drips. Just, just drips of all these stalactites as water is coming down. Um, and at the end of the chamber, there's a raised platform. I mean, you're like this long chamber, and you can see it with your 120 feet of dark vision. Um, there is this raised platform, and this is, this the, is it. This is the thing. Okay, Jake. Uh. Oh. There is an item. Okay. Upon said dais. Ah. Uh. The question is, what kind of item? Ted, what kind of item is it? Is it? So, there's one of two kinds of items. Okay. Um, it is a weapon. Mm hmm. But what kind of weapon it is, well, we're gonna have to leave up to chance somehow for okay. you to determine what kind. Because I can't decide what I want it to be. So, how are we going to do this? Um, do we have, like, a certain number of options? Two. Ah. One is one-handed. The other is two-handed. Oh. I assume that you want the two-handed one. That's the thing I would want. The one-handed one is also good, but I feel like you want the two-handed one. I feel like I always want the two-handed one. That's that's the big advantage of being a battle rager, is being able to use that two-handed weapon and still be deadly. So, so, how do we determine this? Just, just 
Two-handed weapon. Jake. Can I don't, I, no, no, I, 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 but I want to leave it up to... Can both? <laughs> Two weapons on the dais. Oh, that's wicked smart. I hadn't thought of that one. And they have no idea. Huh! Ooh, nope, 25. <laughs> 24. Ooh. Ooh. So I guess it's the two-handed version. All right. Upon the dais. What is that over there? Uh, glowing blue Ooh, in the glow, darkness. Glow in the darkness. And emitting this humming noise that reverberates through the whole chamber is a great axe. Ooh. I walk up to it. Okay. Um, did anybody want to look at the parchment that's in the dead yeah, person's hand that's right there? I do. Okay. I you just go. Do. I can feel like she I is there quicker. Okay. Nice. So, uh, you make it down. I'm walking. And you see like this blue. thing right in front of you. And you read, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, are you detect magic in? Yeah. The lantern is magic. Oh. The I'm reading magic. The parchment, as as Rick reaches out for this item, <laughs> you read the parchment. The chamber of head is bereft with dark mantles. They caught us unaware. Too many to fight off. I managed to escape the attack, but my wounds are fatal. Dying here, in sight of Storm's Herald, makes my failure even more bitter. Rick! And you what? you grasp this thing, and then like the whole ceiling, just all of those stalactites drop, and that's where we're gonna end for tonight. Oh. <coughs> but I do have trinkets I need to get out, so I'm not gonna do them auspicious. Oh. oh, Mistra. So, so tomati. Let's see what we got for you, Rick. Maybe. Um, you, there is a, a pile, uh, a pile of coagulated blood from your first barbarian battle. Ew. Nicknamed Bloody. Ew. <laughs> oh, no. <Wait. laughs> Why would I want that? Your first barbarian battle wasn't it's that the with Sturge. the Sturges? Yes. The Sturge, and there's one Sturge amongst the dark man. <laughs> No! <laughs> it's, squeeze it's, your blood back out of it. Give me back my blood. I am broke. Stop, please. Nobody. <laughs> nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. It's it's Rick. All right, see. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, Celine Romeo. Uh, percentile. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, thank I you like that the internet says it's like Uncle Scrooge's first dime. I like that that's yeah. that was my, right. That trinket was a suggestion from our Discord, so if you want to suggest other trinket ideas, you feel free to join the Nerd, 70. Nerd Immersion Discord, where you can also suggest things that appear in game, Ugh. like uh, whatever you what? got. I don't like this trinket. <laughs> the trinket you got, I don't remember what it was. Just a oh, the, um, blood. What would it look like at this point? It's been months. Oh, the picture of me is and Kelmore TPing his enemy's house. A pile. A vial of coagulated blood? No, it's like a pile. A pile oh. of blood. But would blood. he have, like, put it in anything? It was there. It must be destiny. Who knows? <laughs> this is a clear sign. <laughs> Just appeared. Um, you, Brina... Um, have a, do you find a pouch containing the four types of elemental tiles for the White Lotus board game? Ooh. So, that's what we're going to end for tonight. But, I feel like everybody wants to know what all the things do. So I'll tell you all right now. Oh, also, does, does more likely of us to remember. Just everybody but me. Oh, uh, yeah, everybody be here. Oh. Hmm? Why not? Wow. So, All right. internet goes. So, let's tell you what your items do. <coughs> so, still have one potion of rat control. 
Uh, I also had the very, very sad thought that in like five hours. Five hours, we're gonna have to kill Diego. So the uh, armoire not if of invulnerability uh-huh. yeah, for 12 more hours. is a legendary armoire Ooh. made of rich mahogany. Ooh. It's immune to damage of all kinds. Created by the legendary wizard Oswald the Tailor. Ooh. Uh, that's what that is. The dagger. Oh, so we could Indiana Jones it. Yeah. Theoretically. Ooh. The dagger is the dagger of sacrifice. You can use a bonus action to coat the blade in this magic po- or this black poison. It remains for one minute uh, or until the attack hits a creature. DC 15 con save would take 3d6 poison damage, which is basically a dagger of venom. However, when a, you reduce a creature to zero hit points, the dagger devours their soul. Ooh. And it is sent somewhere. Maybe you'll find out. Maybe you won't. Don't forget you got that dust of uh, dust of dryness last time. In the yes. ring. Uh, the ring. Well, you don't have it. I gotta tell him because he's got it. But the lantern is a lantern of revealing. So if you light the oil, it burns for six hours, um, shedding bright light for thirty feet and dim light for another thirty feet, and it reveals invisible creatures and objects within that thirty feet. So if we ever lose a uh, nibbles. Uh, uh, if we ever lose Nibbles, it's because he wanted us to lose him. I know. And we will not find the him ring. because he is smarter than all of us. That is fair. As you find out, which is... I'm going to say that's actually what happened. Uh, as you go to grab the axe, this is what does it. So the ring, plus three to passive perception and passive Ooh. investigation checks. Ooh. Wow. Nice. However, as you go to grab the axe, your ring s- yells extremely loudly, Hey! Watch out! Oh. As you go to grab it, and it alerts Whoops. Uh, everything around you. Inside the armoire is a vest. Oswald's magnificent vest that allows the wearer to cast the prestidigitation spell at will. <gasps> Anyone. Regardless. Is it attunement? No. I want it. Yeah, everybody does, though. So. Yeah, Roll off. The ring of alertness is technically is. attunement. Uh, the staff of the Rat King... Attunement. Advantage on animal handling checks to deal with rats. It has three charges. While holding it, you can use an, a, an action to expend a charge to summon a swarm of rats that can go off and do whatever you want. They roll, they follow on your initiative, and they do whatever swarm of rats does. Um, 1d3 charges back on a dawn. If you use all the charges on a 1, rats consume the staff and then disappear. And lastly, yeah. Storm's Herald. Mm. Worked out a lot of magic stuff this year. Okay. Well, some of it was because Wave controlled yeah. them. Uh, first of all, advantage on diplomacy and intimidation checks when dealing with dwarves. So, hey. There you go. I mean, diplomacy meant persuasion, my bad. Okay. Plus I one. Plus one weapon here. Attack and damage. Okay. And um, if you strike the ground with it, and cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. Once per long rest. And you can point it forward and once per long rest summon forth the Lightning Bolt spell. Ooh. As of right now. You right. get the feeling that this can do more the longer you spend with it. Watch out! <laughs> That's the third magic item you've given us to cast Thunder Wave. Yeah, I like Thunder Wave. I can tell. There's not a good area of effect second first level spell. It's other than Thunder Wave, yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's that fits in items. Yeah, that makes sense. Like I was I, I really spent a lot of time trying to think of a really cool lightning based spell that's a level one spell and it's just like chromatic orb or yeah. another which spell. Bolt? Yeah, I thought about it and I was like, which bolt's garbage. It's Especially nice. if it's like a freebie at first level. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. Um it's a shame. Yeah. It could have been okay. I mean, if the secondary damage was at whatever level you cast the spell, it, could it, would, be, really cool. it would be a solid spell. It would scale up very nicely. Yeah. It's using it at pretty much uh, most of the way out. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also ridiculously light. Mm-hmm. Very lightweight. 
You don't feel like you're there yet? Because you haven't practiced with it. I feel like I could But you feel like you could. I could throw it. At some point, maybe. You feel like you could probably throw it for like 20, uh, 20, 60, but that's, then you gotta go get it. Yeah, that's a shame. I feel like I could throw pretty much anything, though. Pretty strong. Good throwing stuff. There. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Internet. Gonna, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for Internet. Yeah. Thank you for the new follows and everything, <laughs> and everyone who stopped by. Uh, we will um, be back next week with one more Everin, which will be Everin 49. <laughs> then we'll get an evil game, and then we'll have the 50th episode. All right. Yeah, in June. Beginning of June. That's right. So... Um, tomorrow there will not be an It Builds character, though I will publish Corvo from Dishonored tomorrow. Nice. Um, because I will be, uh, doing the training for work and then prepping to fly to D&D Live on Thursday. Fuck you! Woo! So I will be out there. You can check me out at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday on twitch.tv slash d and I want to say it's D&D 2 or D&D Live 2, which is where my group will be playing. Um... But keep an eye on the social media because they're going to be unveiling the new campaign. Um, so uh, I will be responding, live tweeting, or recording, or whatever the case may be, as much of that as possible. You know what comes after 49? 50, yeah. You know what comes after 50, like 51, and then the party dies because that's about the experience we have. Oh. TPK at around episode 51. Well, we should do something special for 50 then. Yeah, don't fucking kill don't everyone, die, Pat. Don't, <laughs> don't let us die. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. I feel fine. So yeah, that was yeah. the yeah. episode fifty. That was like yeah, twenty something, and we also cut those into smaller episodes. Oh yeah. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.